We're going to have harmonics in the office. Do you office. know any songs yet? I don't. I genuinely do not know songs in Rock Band 4 yet. Hopefully, harmonics think, will let us talk about some new songs on Friday. Do you think Teenage Dirtbag is going to be in there? I think it's already in there. Yeah, that was a song. That really did not like that song. I really didn't like that band. You didn't, you just <laughs> didn't like its use in the, the Jason Biggs film. Which one? Loser. That was, oh, a, F. that was a really bad movie. Yeah, that was a terrible oh, movie. Oh, so bad. And Mina Savari, she was coming off her like, Oscar nomination for, for uh, American Pie 2. American, American I Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got the American part, right? <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know who that is. Was she's she the American young girl? Beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, she's I also watched, an American Pie. I watched Amer So I was one. I mean, yeah, but that was not what her Oscar nomination was for. A snub. She got it for American Beauty because they the snubbed her the year before. Snub, <laughs> like when Eddie Murphy got it for Dreamgirls instead of uh, Nutty Professor to the Clumps. And when Denzel got it for The Contender instead of Training Day. The Contender was... That, that's not even a real movie. Yeah, he's a boxer. The Contender? Yeah. Ah, everyone's on fire! I promise you this was a, is a, a James. Denzel Oscar winning movie. The Contender. No. Denzel. Uh, Boom! Get right. I don't think The Contender is a real movie. Um, research. I watched in high school. My English teacher was really angry that uh, he won an Oscar for... I think maybe he won the Oscar for Training Day. Are Should you thinking of Hurricane? Hurricane? Is that what it's called? The movie about the boxer where he plays Hurricane Carter? The one know. that the Bob Dylan song's about? Maybe my high school teacher just called it The Contender. Maybe in Canada it's called The Contender. That'd be really funny. Is The Contender a film that I'm thinking of that's different? No, you're making The Contender. Sexy secrets from a woman's past. You know what movie doesn't have Denzel Washington or an Oscar nomination? <laughs> Sexy secrets. No, no, no. Here we go. Here, I found it. The Contender is a boxing movie. Oh, you know what it was? I got it. I just pieced it all together. The Contender was a novel. We were reading a novel, and then we watched The Hurricane. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> Uh, there was a TV uh, show called The Contender. Also, there's a movie poster for a Sylvester Stallone movie called The Contender, which I think is different than the Gary Oldman movie about sexy secrets. Gary Oldman. Can man. we please talk about something different? Please send us your questions. Hashtag IGN Plays Live to yeah. get us out of this debacle of a conversation tag about my us, high school. Tag us. Tag us. Tag us. Tag us. I'm going to butcher this poor person's name. Matus. Hey, Ma Ma Mateusz. Mateusz? M-A-T-U-S with a bunch of jiggly jagglies over the With letters. a bunch of, he's got a jigglypuff, he's got a Charmander. Uh, are you guys actually aiming in Not a Hero, or is it auto aim? Uh, it is... It's no, always I, straight ahead, yeah, it's but always you straight ahead. up with certain projectiles. Yes. Uh, I am choosing to, uh, I'm choosing direction. Yeah, so whatever way you're facing is the direction you yeah. shoot. It's, like, this game is really simple in a way that... When I started playing it for the first time, I was a little disoriented by how little I had to do. I was trying to be more involved than I needed to be. Yeah, totally. So, I mean, you literally, you just walk, you slide. Do you even walk? You just have to slide, right? No, That's you can it. walk. You can walk. Walk, slide, shoot. Cover is automatic, which it takes a little bit of getting used to, to just yeah. kind of slide into cover it's and realize like, I'm, I'm protected. You're, you're, it's, uh, what did they call it in uh, Gears? Stop and pop? Remember, like, when Gears of War came oh, out? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, stop and behind cover. Yeah. yeah, so, like, think of it as that, as, like, view the... Uh, look, who's this guy? He's not, he a, needs to button up his a shirt. Fat man? Just a... Uh, uh, jo uh, ho Johan Fatman. Uh, you need to view the levels uh, as just, a, like, see it in cover form. See, like, piece it together sure. via cover. And that's how you... Yeah, it's, it's weird, it's like... Place, place. It's kind of slotted in that, like, every time you slide into an area, you're probably going to tuck behind whatever object is sticking out. Yeah. So that's really weird. Let me see what, what does Smith have to say. Uh, who? No. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, boyo. Hey, boyo. So they, God. What? So this developer, Roll Seven, came to the office. We did some let's plays. They gave me a pair of glasses that you put on and you play it in 2.5D using this weirdo engine. Oh, that sounds like I'd have a, a stomachache. It's extremely disorienting because all you do is tilt your head way back and you just see the real world in 45 <laughs> different different angle. <laughs> it's so dumb. They're like, no, you got to play the game using these glasses. It's just not beneficial at all. Yeah. I'm just tired. I don't know. Look, what is this, Sasquatch? No, I got a Sasquatch. I got a Sasquatch in the video game. I really want to get these glasses and make Marty play. James, can we get the glasses? They're on my desk. <laughs> I don't know. They're not real. Like, they're not like 3D glasses. They don't change anything. They're just glasses with stupid mirrors on them. Ah, uh, this is going well. 
Now that James is gone, we're going to talk James, about sexy yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> Dad left the room. We can do whatever we want. Uh, like what? Oh, we got one new tweet. Oh, man. They want to know, what's our view on murdering pug dogs? Oh. Because developer of this game, Roll7, by the way, this comes from director at Roll7, Thomas Hegarty. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. They had the, they've been doing these campaigns. Why would you know, because this game's politically charged. It's a yeah. politically charged thriller. Yeah. They're doing these Twitter campaigns. Do we kill this pug or do we not? Do they retweet for one vote and favor for another? Uh, and nope. Internet unanimously voted to murder a pug. I was deeply upset. Uh, let's... They... They didn't murder the pug, right? Yeah! I mean, it was a, <laughs> it's a real... Imagine, I imagine it wasn't the a real pug. Alive. James, you're gonna die. Don't put those on. You're gonna... I'm gonna just put these on and watch this game. Here we go. So I'm staring straight ahead, right? I can see my monitor. I can, like... I'm gonna answer the Twitter right now if I had more questions other than Thomas's stupid jerk question about pug dogs. So if I tilt all the way back, I can see you not a hero. Mitch, what the hell is wrong with you? That's what... Here, I want you to put these glasses on. Mitch, you're gonna... Have... This is the real experience. But I have. I'm already wearing. Glasses. Put on the glasses. I'm already wearing Put glasses. on the, the the wacky glasses. Oh, is this just my this is just my controller? It's called ISO Slam, Marty. It's a it's a new technology. What am I supposed to? You just I, look at your TV. You play the game. Like this? Yeah. Uh, okay. I want you to finish this level wearing these okay. glasses. Okay. It's. <laughs> is this thing still on my ear? Yeah. No, is this you're on fine. my mouth? You're good. You're good. Okay. Everything's fine. You just uh, you just do you. Do me. You're going the wrong way, I think. No, I'm not. Oh, no, going you're not. Up. All right. Get wrecked. Would you say that the ISO slant glasses enhance your gameplay experience? I would say this is real dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, if I had to use one word to describe this, real dumb is that word. Okay, that seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, I think I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I killed men. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just read you the, the ISO slant promotional technology as you use the ISO slant glasses. Oh, look. The, uh, oh, the my, where did my hand come from? <laughs> that was sc <laughs> I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> look, he's killing... Oh, he's just beating that business, Fat Man. Yeah, it was Johan. He's Fahn. got a, a bat. Yeah, just bat his face off. Ooh. Yeah, this is violence. Oh, he's fine. He broke that bat. I don't. What? This dude's still alive. What are these for? Uh, my hands. Is this look, that one dude from? My hands look from weird. From Snatch, who just can't be shot. My hands look Forest weird. Forrest the Bullet Dodger. Uh oh. You remember Snatch? Yeah, I remember Snatch. What only only 90s kids. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Be out. Go. Run. 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 Uh, at Isoslam, we combine 25 years of internal research into visual apprehension with our patented VFX engine to create an entirely different perspective. Two and one quarter D. The quest for two one quarter D is well documented. Academic and industrial pursuit. Perplexing Nobel Prize winners and leading game designers alike. Isoslam CEO Charles Hurst is optimistic about its future. Charles, you're the, the most diabolical Charles since Charles Keeping Witt. Keeping this technology under wraps for 25 Whitmore. years is not I beat the easy. level and met Bogdan. <laughs> Mayor of England. That's not... That's not who leads England. <laughs> okay, Where? this is making me nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> it's like legitimately disoriented. I right? want to throw up. Like you have to tilt your head all the way back to see anything. I just, again, I, I I know what you mean. Like it feels like the mic has left your body. Mm -hmm. If I tilt all the way back, I can see James behind the TV. Just uh, to recap, That's I went nice. to college. Screw <laughs> <laughs> James. <laughs> I went I spent, to college. I spent four years in college, and, and I, this is how I you put on here. Bogdan's magic glasses. <laughs> Uh, and now I feel queasy. I feel legitimately awful having more than <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, bug damn. Can we give these away so I don't have them anymore? As punishment. Don't forget to tweet your questions at us. We're using the hashtag IGNPlaysLive. Tweet that at IGN or me. I'm at MitchyD. That'll come to me. That'll come to Marty. Upgrade! All right. It's got gold stuff. Uh, and we will read your questions just like... Matt Lubick. Hey, Matt. Who had it's a Marty question. here. By the end of the game, will you be a hero? Uh, it, no, it's like the Britney Spears song. You're not a girl, but not yet a woman. What about Shania Twain's Man, I Feel Like a Woman? <laughs> <laughs> Shania that's Twain. Your, that's your song. Remember Shania Twain? Twain? Vividly. She's, Can she's a Canadian heartthrob. She's not Canadian, is she? Almost positive. She seems so, like, American, so American? and wholesome. Why is she, why is she American? I mean, you're generally American if your parents were. Bogdan! Born in Windsor, Ontario. That's a weird place. Get your life together, Sleva. Boom. Slides. Slides. You're doing... You're doing you are... Oh, no! <laughs> Look at those... Who are those dudes down there? I think they were just getting high. They were getting... They were smoking a, a jazz cigarette. 
Drinking spicy water. Drinking spicy water and smoking jazz cigs. Oh, no, this oh, is going yeah. well. No, it's yeah, fine. Unless the thing's fine. going well. You did fine. I'm so proud of you, Marty. I'm not proud of you. Oh, this says question mark down here. Should I, should I jump? Yeah. Leap of faith. See? No problem. We got some birds. Keep Scroll! going. Scroll! Birds again. We got some bullets. Look at that Look giant rat. Giant rat. What's he doing? I don't you know. got him. Oh, the you oh, you found the gerbil. I, t I, I turned... Turned down for what? If we were paying attention to the story instead of talking about Shania Twain, we'd probably have a more vivid understanding. I feel of what's like going a woman. Bump, bump, ba -na -na -na. Impact grenade. Curtis Phillip. Hey, Curtis. Whose Twitter icon is the Ali Ali logo, which makes me think he's a fan of Roll Seven, possibly an employee. <laughs> <laughs> possibly John asks, Jonathan Ali Ali himself. Asks, what's your favorite special ammo? There's a Ooh. bunch of really good ones. Yeah, uh, you found I've been, that cat grenade yet? I like the, ooh, cat grenades. Great. Uh, I'm a fan of this of the laser because it's just gonna kill this fool right away. <laughs> That's really. I love that animation of him uh, dissolving. I, I like setting him on fire. Uh, I like the ricochet ones. That's that really, just causes yeah, yeah. a causes bullets a, just spray everywhere. A, a ruckus. Um, ooh, look at this greenhouse. I'm gonna hop into this greenhouse. Uh, yeah, big fan of the wacky ammo. Do you think these are marijuana? You got mines. Are Put these marijuana in. plants? Yeah, yeah, you said greenhouse. I meant grow house. Oh, you're blowing up all the drugs. Just like, yeah, like good politicians would. No, don't do that. Oh, my God. You there's a mine. Them. I was on a mine. Uh, ah. You need to fire less than 100 shots. I think they mean fewer than. But also, you only have 40 to go. <laughs> Is Roll 7 British? Yeah. Okay. Correcting the Brits grammar. Causing an international incident. You have 22 bullets to go. Then you cannot shoot anymore. You also didn't meet the... Oh, they were reporters. You did not meet the reporters. I think you killed them. Ooh, That's why you can't meet them anymore. No, I thought the reporters... I think the reporters were the people that when I fell and died. Yeah, oh, no. but you can't meet them anymore. Oh, sorry, guys. You failed that objective. Who wants to meet a reporter? Reporters are the worst. Ooh, I put a cat bomb in there. Ooh. Oh, good. Cat bomb. Meow. Oh, it's trying to find a route. It can't find a route. I tricked the cat bomb. It's classic cat bomb trickery. I'm gonna blow up this. Yeah, I'm gonna blow up drugs. Did. I'm gonna yeah, blow up drugs. Just blow that one up on the way out. Because kids who smoke cigarettes turn into oh my God. bandits. You, I'm amazed you're still alive. You I haven't died so yet. So many bullets. I haven't died yet. I know. You regain health. Are you playing on a baby mode? Because whenever I played this game, I did not. Oh, you definitely killed the journalists. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they are not living. I think I accidentally <laughs> threw a grenade down there. <laughs> As one does to journalists. Blamo. Got him. Blamo. Love that ricochet. Blamo. Completely forget what I was saying. Uh, Tad Hunt writes in. Ah, that was scary. And says, I think the glasses let you read books or play games on your laptop more comfortably while lying flat. Ooh. I think that's true. Yeah. As well as if you're sitting. It gave me, it gave me a tummy ache. <laughs> Boom. Uh, well, this is not necessarily easier. If I was lying down, that might be the case. I mean, you also don't have dignity anymore. Yeah, that's true. Who needs it? Pew, pew, pew. I can't even see what you're doing anymore. I gotta leave just way back. I'm pew pewing. Just pewing. Oh my gosh. Can't see anything. Oop, I set up a turret. Get wrecked. Turret power. You're fine. Thanks. Marty, I believe in you. I, I have to actually turn my head to the right. You're like a you're like a man turret. If I can see it, but it it makes everything change angle. I gotta take these off for I just get out of here. Keep it locked. Throw them on the floor where they belong. Keep it locked to, to garbage. Drill shot. Oh my gosh. I hope you don't die, because you have to restart this whole level if you die. Don't worry, I got, you got power, power shots. Shot. No problem. Shoot that door onto a man. Party. Don't ruin everything. I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not at the exit. You're fine. You did it. Boom! All right, Marty wrapped it up. He did it. I'm vote, so proud of you. Vote Mayor Bunnyface. James, do we want to talk about the rest of IGN Live for the rest of this week? IGN Place Live. Yeah, so like we said before on Wednesday. He said, give me a sec. <sighs> God, James is needy. You we all right? made it into Can the I... national news. Bunny Lord, sexy biter of drug crime. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got headphones on. I can't hear James anymore. What's he babbling about back there? He says go. All right. So tomorrow, Wednesday, May the 13th, 1 p.m. Pacific, for two hours, we are going to be playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. 
Yeah, with with uh, developers. With developers from CD Projekt with, Red, with Polish men who are not Marty Sleva. Nope. Following that, you can see Marty Sleva on Podcast Beyond Live. Yeah, it's gonna get one. It's just gonna go right up into that. We're gonna we're gonna wild hunt and then immediately say what's up, everybody. Yeah. And Max is gonna have an awkward intro. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Uh, we're gonna take a break on Thursday. Not gonna do any live live stuff. But on no. Friday, at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Time on the, the following day, because time is weird. Uh, we are going to have the debut gameplay for Rock Band 4. We're going to stream Rock Band 4 for an hour, uh, with show off some, some songs, hopefully some new songs, new songs, if Harmonix is ready to talk about that. I I want uh, Slipknot and Puddle of Mud. I genuinely do want Slipknot. That's my guilty <laughs> pleasure. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Puddle of Mud. You, I, I just I literally don't even remember a Puddle of Mud song. <laughs> yeah, all I did was go, Ugh. Remember Puddle of Mud and P.O.D. and all these bands? That, that, was, were a bad, that was a bad time. Uh, after the Rock Band 4 live stream, once again, we're going to do The Witcher 3. Wild, Wild Hunt. Because that is a big game that a lot of IGN audience people, that's you, really care about, apparently. Yeah, I people care about love it. that game. Yeah. Uh, I think approximately 7 billion people are reading the review right now. Yeah. Uh, people Vin- really want to know what that game is Vincenze all about. Vincenze and Janita. Vincenze and Janita. You can check his review out on IGN.com. Yeah. Vince gave that game a very high score, so go check out his review. Learn a little bit more about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt before we stream it tomorrow and Friday. Laugh a little, learn a little. Yeah. Uh, 1 p.m. PC, p- PT Pacific Time. No, we're not playing PT. We can't do that. Or uh, it'll Jimmy Konami is going to come and take our PS4s. <laughs> everything away from it. <laughs> you got another cat bomb. I'm very excited. Uh, IGN Live presents Destiny House of Wolves on Tuesday, May 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific. And then at Tuesday again at 1 p.m. Guess what? The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, one more Where time. Where we're going to hunt an entire house of wolves. <laughs> yeah. So lots and lots of stuff to go through uh, the following days. Did you hear the rumor about the house of wolves uh, stream? We're going to do it with an actual wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Destin a- Legary and Fran Mirabella are joined by a wolf. Uh, by uh, Horatio Lupin, <laughs> who is just a uh, wolf we found out in the <laughs> middle of the woods. He is, uh, he is angry. We should not have allowed him up here. Uh, he's on a chain, but the chain doesn't really hold him back. <laughs> Uh, Destin Legary is the armory will be no more because Destin will have his hand bit <laughs> off. He will be known as the Kingslayer from then on. How's he going to Fran, get his exotics? Fran's going to befriend. Oh, oh, they'll be buds? Uh, Horatio, yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. Okay. Great. I drink a lot. <laughs> is it like before the stream? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, man. Boom. Oh, my God. That, oh, I died. You're bleeding out. Time to death. What? Thirty-five minutes. Oh, okay. I did, I, right. Your uh, your you, your time of death is one thirty-five p.m. Pacific yeah. Standard Time. Is it Standard Time right now? I don't even know, is that even man. A thing? I'm, I'm trying to see what stats are. Oh, cool. This is awesome. Okay. So how many? Uh, it's who you've beaten the level with. Wins wins to fails. Ooh. Oh, best time, best streak. Oh, this yeah. is like really detailed and obsessive yeah. speedrunning efficiency stuff. Yeah. Man. Yeah, and these are all the the, the, the awards you've won for them. That's Great. Good. Look, the, he has different awards in his background. Oh, yeah, look at the plant! Is... The plant on the left. Oh, it's growing. Oh, it died. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Those are your targets, I guess. Oh, you killed them. Now keep it's going, fight Celo Green. Show you no, oh, you can't go forward. Yeah. Okay. The days on the calendar are taking off, too. That was cute. Voter Awareness Day, Marty. We got, we got two new tweets. Let's see if... Puddle of Mud blurry. <laughs> Thanks, Curtis. <laughs> uh, blurry. Remember that song? Nope. Was that like that? Do you want again? to? I can bring it up on the on YouTube. <sighs> no. How the hell we wound up like this? Was that Puddle of Mud? Uh, no, that's Nickelback. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, for mature. Uh. Mega Man himself. Hey, Mega Man. Who's just Josh Kins 23 on Twitter. F. Any new announcements you're expecting at Ubisoft at E3? Watch Dogs 2, Hitman, Child of Light 2, or a new IP? Hitman's a Square Enix game. Yeah, definitely not Hitman. But uh, new announcements. Watch Dogs 2, Child of Light <sighs> 2, new IP. So, we talked a little bit about this, but I, I don't see a Child of Light 2 coming. Yeah, I... I oh, they killed something. Uh, I hope that they're doing something UB art, like something in yeah, that framework. I, uh, I maintain I want a Prince of Persia game in the UB art. That'd be awesome. I totally be for that. Um, yeah, I mean, there, yeah, there will be new things, whether it's sequels or IPs. Yeah, like, I, I guarantee there will be. Um, it's just what they are. I, I guarantee it, Marty Sleeper. I guarantee. It. And if there's not, 
I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just going to bring Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just all the old stuff. Where are you going? What are you doing? Got a cat bomb. Use that cat bomb. Turn down for cats. <laughs> just like that hit song from John Wayne. John Wayne Mellencamp. <laughs> I don't know where the rest of the, where I'm supposed to put the rest. Of, oh, here's one. Did you do it? Oh, no, you have I many things to do. You, you no, let a hostage posters. die. You failed. That's fine. Oh, got to find all the ghetto blasters. I got to find one more. I got to put, I got to. Why are you putting these signs up? What's that even doing? I don't know. That's my mission. All right. Relax. It's going to be all right. It's going to be uh, okay. It's my mission. Don't forget, you can tweet out us using the hashtag IGN Plays Live. So you can ask Marty questions about. Uh, I'm just going to exit. What do you, you want to talk about today, Marty? Uh, Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Charles Dick I want to talk about Charles Dickens. I want to talk about the best type of lasagna. And Ooh. I want to talk about uh, top 10 smooches. Top 10 smooches. Get your top 10 smooches uh, results into IGN. And if you can somehow combine them with lasagna and Sir Charles Dickens, then you've done all three all of right. the dumb things I talked about. Uh, Tad Hunt asks, how many different weapons are there? Uh, a lot. Yeah, there's different uh, weapons for every hero. Different weapons for every hero, different weapons for every ability. We have a new friend. Oh, we got Jesus. Oh, he's just Jesus from... From the large Lebowski. He runs really fast. Like the regular Jesus. Oh, he does run fast. Nice. I think he's also got... Does he also have a shotgun? No, it's just a pistol, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, no. Oh, that's it's an a, automatic. That's a hoozy. That's some some bad spray. That's rude. Oh, oh I like that. That execution is great. Oh, look at that. Is that a dog? No, it's a hostage. Got him. Oh, he teleported out. Yeah, that's how that's how hostages roll. Man. Have you never said the hostage in real life? I've never, no, nor have I ever been a hostage, unfortunately. Oh, Where are you going? I don't know. I do love the game uh, for its mobility. Oh, yeah. that was awesome. Right, like you're just jumping out windows, smashing through doors. You're just like, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah. just nonsense. I love it. Oh, I have to find the hostages. Uh, but there is like a, a, a really good sense of logic to it. The, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the level design, I think, is really strong, even though it is just a bunch of like different levels. Yeah, building, yeah. They do some really interesting creative things, like jumping between windows, totally. and jumping from one building to another, taking staircases, opening doors from behind. All the kind of stuff that I really loved about Gunpoint, honestly. Yeah, this feels a lot like Gunpoint. I mean, obviously, like the the, the view looks like Gunpoint, but... Oh! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Got him. <laughs> Did literally anything happen? Uh, there you go. Okay, it looks like Gunpoint, but... Uh, I don't know. Gunline, gunpoint, Hotline Miami. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it feels like a couple different things, but a nice new combination. Yeah, at the same time, it does feel like its own thing. Like, it's reminiscent of them in a way that is like, oh, I like this part about it. Yeah, right? sure, sure, sure. Aesthetically and violence-wise, it's very similar to Hotline Miami, but that's kind of where it ends. Yeah. Oh, he's just... Uh, the he's the meanest. There's, there's Jesus is not a kind uh, individual. Jesus. <laughs> Save that hostage. Got him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. What, oh, I just got to get to the bunny copter. A hostage died. You did not no, get to the payphone. No, a hostage died oh. somewhere. You got. You failed that mission. Well, you know what? I just succeeded out. that mission. Forget the giant Jesus and oh, Bonnie what an exit. riding for the sun. What an exit. That wasn't great. I didn't do anything. Mayor of England. Mm -hmm. Just like the Queen Minister. Just like D. Krupa. Jesus, you do hostage negotiations like a hilarious assassin from the Wet Orphans. <laughs> yep. I was proud. I do love Bunny with Lords. Like, not, not his dialogue, but just the way he delivers it. Yeah, his noises are just like you're messing with a, a balloon. Yeah. It's like you're running over a balloon with a squeaky chair. That's a that's vivid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we got a question from Lord Dreamville. His name is Jordan. Chance of a Jurassic World Park Builder game like the Jurassic Park one on PS2. It was so good. Pretty sure there's a Jurassic Park thing on iOS that just came out, right? I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure you're building some And I parks. think it's a Park Builder thing. Uh, I'll find out. Yeah. I'm going to do some research. Mitch, Twitter says you should follow Ellen DeGeneres, Jimmy Fallon, and uh, one Barack Obama. Uh, yeah. Th I mean, those are good examples of who to follow. <laughs> Uh, App Store, where are you? Tell me about this Jurassic Park mobile game. I don't, I don't know if it was any good, but 
I feel like we'd be talking about it if, if it was good. Like people in this office love Jurassic Park to a ridiculous degree. Yeah. Uh, they mostly love the lo- the Lost World in JP3 though. Like you do. Yeah. I I relate to that for sure. How do you spell Jurassic? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I every time I spell it, I spell it wrong. Whatever. I'm gonna search dinosaurs. I, I, I write jury and then sick. J U R Y S I. Well, this thing is called Jurassic Park Builder. Uh, it came out in March. It sure looks like a Jurassic Park park <laughs> building game. Uh, it looks like Clash of Clans. Oh really? Um. Oh, Jurassic World the game. This is the one I'm thinking of. All right. All right. Uh, this also looks like a park builder, but more like a roller coaster tycoon kind of thing. Okay. So definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. Lord Dreamville. Lord. And Molotov. Throw some Molotovs. Burn some dudes. Mazeltovs. Boom! Blow a hole in the wall and put a Molotov in your face. Molotovs. All right. Good work. Good work. Good work. Tad writes in and says, love the character slide. It looks like Mega Man's slide. Da -da 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 -da. Mechanically, does it feel similar? Because that would be awesome. A little bit, actually. Uh, it feels faster, but yeah. It's one of those things that loses inertia by the end of it, so it does feel like... Yeah, you're definitely at your fastest the minute you do yep. it. Get effed. Whew, nice. Good, good Molotov Everyone's on toss. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. What it, my mom never said that uh, video games wouldn't help me Molotov. <laughs> your mom's a weird lady. No <laughs> offense. <laughs> no offense to the, the fine moms of Poland. Oh, oh I didn't realize that. I feel like you're playing on baby mode. Because when I played this game, I was dying left and right. And I felt like I was doing okay. I just got hit once and I would die. Good toss. Good Thank toss. <laughs> Good we'll see. We'll see what mode I'm playing on after I uh, do a sick win. Yeah. This dude's got it. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to go down. If you finish in under 140 seconds, you help politics and you <laughs> save crime. Are there any bees in this room? No. No, you're not trying to find bees. You're trying to kill everyone. You have to finish in 140 seconds. Where's and you get 10 kills in 20 seconds. All right. All right. That's probably helping. Honestly. Cat bomb. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. You're out of Cat's coming, cat's coming. Oh, man. That would have been really effective if there were men still alive. <laughs> uh, Roy Gano writes in and says, What is this game? <laughs> <laughs> Roy Gano writes in and says, What is happening? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess well, uh, this is immediately, uh, immediately evident. If you weren't watching at the beginning of the stream, this is uh, Not a Hero. Which is the upcoming game that's coming out this week by uh, the developers Roll Seven, who did Ali Ali. Yep. 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 Um, it's I mean, we keep describing it using other games, but it's like Hotline Miami and Gunpoint, and a little bit like Ali Ali actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, it and Ali Ali have really similar gameplay loops in that it's very technical. It's about precision. It's about doing the exact right thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. Ali Ali, obviously, a skateboarding game about landing sweet tricks. Mm -hmm. Sick. Uh, si sick tricks. No, sick is bad. Sick treats. Sick is bad. Sick is not perfect, which means you're a failure and you have to start the whole level over. Uh, this is very similar in that uh, it's it's less punishing than Ollie Ollie. Steve looks uh, exhausted. He looks yeah, like right. He looks like Joel <laughs> in <dick>. winter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's instant fail if you die. You have to start the whole level over, mm -hmm. so you have to you know really be aware of your positioning, and yeah. your ammo, and enemy placement stuff like that. Totally. So this is coming out uh, for PC this week. Can you check? Uh, it's I believe it's coming to Sony things. It is coming to PlayStation yeah. 4. That's as far as I got. I don't I know got. if that's a day and date thing, but we'll yeah. do some, some research. Somebody from Roll7, just tweet us the answer. You've been, you've been harassing us. Roll7, if you've been watching this, are, we, are you coming out day and date on the on the PlayStation ecosystem? Oh, what do we got there? Oh, get out of there, God, splash ads. Ads. Uh, PC, PC on May seventh. Well, that was it. Got delayed an extra week. It will we also didn't, be coming out on PS4 story. and Vita later this year. But okay. There have been no announcements. So, uh, if Roll Seven would like to announce the dates on this show, please tweet at us using the hashtag IGN Plays Live. Using the hashtag Hot Scoops. Let Mitch whatever <laughs> quick news story wants. We'll tag it original news. Perfect. Um, do we have to do that? We're supposed to, if it's a hot scoop. It's oh man, I have not been doing that. You have not been. You have that. I wasn't on that Every email. rock band thing has been a hot scoop. <laughs> wasn't on that email chain. You are a just a. You're a mud monster. Just play the game. You, who are you playing? You're playing Steve. Why you got old lady behind? You got it's Ruby. You got diner lady. It's Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> Don't oh, Ruby's Ruby. got a gun. <laughs> That's my favorite Aerosmith Ru song. Ru Ruby's got a gun. Wasn't that Pearl Jam? No, it's Janie's got a gun, and it's Aerosmith. James. It's Marty. Do not mess with me when it comes to Aerosmith and Pearl Jam <laughs> trivia. 
You, my name's Mitch. I won one round of trivia, and I think I know everything. I won two of your trivia nights. <laughs> First off, <laughs> James is he's gonna do some research. Jenny's got a gun. <laughs> uh, Lord Dreamville writes back. Follow up to the iOS game is great. Oh, follow up. The iOS game is great. Oh. Do you think we're only looking at iOS games in Jurassic World? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah. Um, honestly, the uh, era of summer blockbusters getting big AAA console games is over. I agree. iOS is where they go to. Um, we didn't have a Hunger Games game. We didn't have a Twilight game. Correct. We don't have an Avengers game. Uh, Roll Seven tweets at us and lets us know about a, a PS4 release date. They said, no. <laughs> They're not gonna tell us. They're being jerks today. They're Super murdering helpful. pugs. Super helpful. Murdering little baby children on the, with their gifts. They're Murdering gifts. little baby children. <laughs> Not giving us hot scoops. <laughs> Cannot tag that one original news. I like how it's just as offensive to you that they murdered children <laughs> as to not tell us the release date. <laughs> no, no, no. I think we say about the pug because it's actually less offensive to me that they have a, a 8 bit gif of a child being burned to death by an acidic milkshake than it is that they have a dog what is getting happening? shot in the face. That's just what, what do you mean? No, it went away. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? It went away. Uh, it's just okay. that awful feeling. Just the, uh, the trash. Uh, just anger. Whatever you need to do, Marty. So we're gonna we're gonna have to make a um, um, a human change. Oh yeah, we got a this. hot swap coming in. We got a hot swap. Uh, you should probably text him to make sure. Uh, he's yeah, I would. Ready for the hot I'm swap. concerned that he's not here right now. Um, but I will be leaving the stream. Yeah, because you got important uh, fancy business. Yeah, I do have fancy business here in the office to take care of. Yeah, um, but we're gonna be replacing you with uh, a man who's angrier and more Italian than you. <laughs> Who could that be? Who could be? it possibly? Are you just gonna be? go get him? Emerald Lagasse. Emerald Lagasse coming up on IGN yep. Live. We're going to ask some questions like, uh, how, do, how do you make the, uh, the pumpkin pie? Preemptively, because this will this will be genuinely helpful for you. If you have cooking questions for Emerald Lagasse, tweet yeah. them at IGN using the hashtag IGN Plays yeah. Live, and our special guest will give you all sorts of cooking advice. Yeah. Uh, what other topics should we have our guest address? Uh, Tweet all your Dota 2 questions using the hashtag likes, IGN likes Dota, plays Dota live. Two questions. Yeah, uh, uh, if you if you want to know Dota 2 questions, our special guest coming up knows way more than me. Can tell you all sorts of stuff yeah. about. Dota Tweet, 2. Tweet at him. Just say speaking of Italy, <laughs> something Italian. Uh, speaking say, of Italy, comma and then your question. Say, bam. <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's what he would say. Uh, Roy Gano writes in. Why does this game look like a game from the 90s? I don't know. It's just pixel art. Right. It's just the artistic. I'm gonna decision. Get, I'm gonna I'm gonna hot swap. So thank you hot for. Swap. Thanks uh, for hanging out with me. Thanks for joining leave. Mitch. Bye, uh, friends. Bye, Mitch. Bye, friends. We've uh, we told people we're very excited. People think that Emerald Lagasse is the new is the new guest. Don't put those on. You will vomit. <laughs> Hey, bam, on TV's Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> How you doing? Today we're making a nice big pot of sauce. <laughs> How you doing there? Yeah, Emerald Lagasse. Watch me on the Food Channel. <laughs> this is TV's Food Network. This is, I can't wear these glasses. What is up with this? <laughs> Why do they exist? Oh, my God. This is like what this is one of the scariest things in the world. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Altano. I'm here with Marty Sleever. We're watching IGN Plays Live. That's the hashtag. Tweet us your questions. We will answer them. We'll answer things live on the air. What are we playing today, Marty? We're playing Not a Hero. This is Uncharted 4? This is, this is Uncharted 4. It kinda of looks like Nathan Drake, actually. It does look like a little Drake. Uh <laughs> little, little Drake. Little Drake. This is uh, Not a Hero. It's by uh, Roll Seven who did Ali Ali. Yeah, awesome. It's, uh, it's sort of like uh, how Miami meets Ali Ali meets uh, just angry British people. Great. Yeah. Um, comes out this week on PC later this year for uh, PS4 and Vita. That's a that is a good concoction of, of elements you described yeah. there. Yeah, just like uh, a concoction of, of spices and herbs that Emerald uses for. That's a right. Sauce. Emerald uses in a nice sauce. <laughs> Go to emeraldlagosi.com. I don't know if that website's real. <laughs> it's, that probably could be hasn't bad. been probably hasn't been updated since like 2000. Yeah, that could be like a tentacle wrestling site. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, cool wrestling. Anyway, you are tuned into IGM Plays Live. That's every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yes. Crushed it. Crushed I, it. Usually, I usually screw that up. Um, use the hashtag IGM Plays Live. I'm Brian Altano, a.k.a. Agent Bizzle on Twitter. This is Marty Sleva, a.k.a. McBiggity. We're playing a very fun game right now. Uh, Wilderness asks, for Elmro, what actually is quinoa anyway? <laughs> quinoa is an ancient grain that you can find in South American countries. 
You take a little bit of it and you throw it on the floor. You say, bam! <laughs> That's how you make a quinoa floor treat. I died. Hashtag Emerald Lugosi live. <laughs> Go to EmeraldLugosi.com. You keep, I keep thinking you're saying Emerald Lugosi. <laughs> That's, that's 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 the ghost version of him. All right. So, what's the plot here? What's going on? Uh, so well, I'll, maybe I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll go back to the level select. Uh, so you are doing jobs for the mayor of England, who's on the right, who's like a weird Batman guy. He's like a he's like a bunny, I think, like a purple bunny Batman, and he wants to go <laughs> from mayor to global megalord. Yep. And so you have each of these missions. Uh, the missions have different sub objectives, or you can just get through them and not actually. Do yeah. any of them and just finish them. Uh, he gives you briefs you a little bit. Everything's very weird. The dialogue is vulgar and angry, <laughs> but it's just the voices sound like a like a balloon being put places balloons shouldn't be. Um, and then you have different characters. Like, wow, like Cletus. Uh, Curtis Phillips says, speaking of Italy, hashtag <laughs> iChain plays. How do you make sure it's okay to kiss after eating lasagna? <laughs> That's a really good question, Curtis. A lot. What do you have to do? Is you have to you have to only kiss people that ate a nice. Rigatoni. <laughs> you have to get a nice mix of sauces I, in your mouth. I thought that was like the Capulets and the Montagues. Like <laughs> Rig Rigatoni and ZD families never That's mixed. true. Yeah, they, they, used to, they used to war back in the day. <laughs> that was actually the original plot of West Side Story was that two warring gangs created two separate pasta dishes and tried to eat them on the same night. What? And then a bloodbath ensued. <laughs> I learned that on EmeraldLagosi.com. Hashtag eat, eat live for Emerald. <laughs> <laughs> eat live? <laughs> this is IGN Eats Live. That's right. If you want to see an actual food video, Max Goble and I just put up a video called uh, Let's Eat Weird Animal Meat. When you're done watching this, you can go watch us eat wonderful things such as boars and pheasants. Oh, really? How or was it? Orangutan. No, that doesn't seem legal. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that weird, though? Like, you could totally, if you, if, like, I listed all those animals and you're like, that's fine. Yeah. And then I was like, orangutan. You're like, no, that no, dude, that's, you that can't dude do has that. hands. <laughs> he has pulseful thumbs, man. <laughs> can't be eating to someone with no hands. <laughs> Hashtag IGN plays live. That's the hashtag. Tweet us your questions about pasta, us, us other making, other making out questions about lasagna. Why? Tell us why you hate Mondays, Garfield. If you're Garfield, I'm gonna block you. I don't like that cat. <laughs> That's right. That, Garfield blocked Max, right? Yeah. 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 Garfield the cat on Twitter blocked Max uh, Scoville, IGN host and personalita. You know why? Because <laughs> Max was giving that cat a very hard time. <laughs> <laughs> if I was that cat, I would have blocked him as well. So, yeah, these guys are all, like, they're little, like, attack the block yeah. British dudes, basically. Yeah. Okay. Each, uh, each set of missions sort of have a different uh, theme. Like, the last one was, like, uh, yep. Russian mobsters. I like that. Attack the block British dudes. Yeah. Is he doing a splinter cell thing where he's hiding in the shadows? Yeah, so that's your, uh, the whole thing is it's, everything is sort of cover based. So you hit A, you tap A to move in between pieces of Got cover. Got it. And then you won't be hit. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of like a weird puzzle game in that way. Um, you're constantly moving between cover and cover because you don't have that much health. Yeah. So it doesn't really have that, uh, that kind of nature that Ali Ali has, which is constantly replaying something. No, 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 not at all. Oh, I thought that was my way out. F. No, yeah, I thought that was the turtle van, but a bunch <laughs> of, uh, very angry, angry people came out of it. Is it dead yet? Oh no, that was that was uncalled for. Wow, remember the turtle van? Yeah, that, you know why I remember that? Because it was awesome. <laughs> That's why I remember that. Turtle van was a great idea until you realize it said the name of their company on the side of it. Yeah, and they were trying to they were trying to be they were trying to be secretive, trying right? Trying to be a little bit. But stealthy. then they also like, where do you get a trench coat that is that large? Like, where do you get a trench coat for for shoulders that are that broad? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you have to go to Big and Tall Turtle Store. <laughs> very Is that specific. a cake? Yeah. Uh, no, those. Oh, oh! So you get different weapons, different ammunition. That was explosives ones. Yeah. I'm going to throw a Mazel, Mazel Tov cocktail at that, man. Mazel Tov cocktail? Yeah. I don't know if that's the way that goes. It's celebratory. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Simon Bennett says, that neighborhood is based on the New Cross in SE Southeast London. What is the U.S. equivalent? Uh... Ooh, that's a good question. I think is that Simon, a bad Simon Bennett's one of the developers. If it is a bad neighborhood, I don't know what I'm thinking. Like, I bet certain cities have equivalents. Okay. Every city is sort of yeah. Here in like San the Francisco, projects. we have the Tenderloin. Yeah. Uh, in New Jersey, we had something called Camden, New Jersey, which yeah. is basically uh, Escape from New York, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Escape from New York. Dot, dot, yeah, dot, it's New a, Jersey. it's a, it's basically a John Carpenter town. Yeah. <laughs> a John Carpenter. 
interpreter. Though. So I like is this is uh, all the voice work in this game is done by uh, Nolan North. <laughs> That's not true. It's just it's just the guy covering his mouth with his other hand. <laughs> is that is that dog jumping in blood? Is that a blood square? Is that a blood pug? <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is like the cool murderers lounge. Yeah, there's like a rumpus room. The, the ghost of Colonel Sanders is up there. They have a dartboard. Ooh, can you play Ali Ali on that arcade? Oh, category? that would be really cool, actually. If you can't, that's really not cool. I don't like when they put arcade games in games that you, that you can't play. <laughs> don't that's do rude. that. Yeah, that's a rude thing to do. Get my hopes up. Wow, he dropped you very high from the <laughs> helicopter. That seems very dangerous. You're going to land with a messed up ankle. Have you ever messed up your ankle? Me? Yeah. No? Yeah, I don't, th I don't think I have. We don't really do that. Strenuous. I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> You didn't get one during your like your recreational volleyball league. Yeah, I thought P90X was a video game for like a year. <laughs> Sounds like something like do those Dota kids would play. <laughs> Did you get that P90X DLC? <laughs> Hashtag IGN plays live. Uh, Emerald Lagosi was just he just stopped by. He brought a fresh pot of sauce into the room. It's on the floor. It's steaming. We're just smelling in. I think he put a little. Uh, you put a little pinch of cinnamon in there. I, cinnamon? I think, I, oh, I think I'm picking up some notes of nutmeg. That's that's Emerald, amazing. you're a crazy man. Lost a lot of weight over the years, and Emerald Lugosi actually only weighs about 95 pounds now. <laughs> also lost about two feet. He's actually completely transformed. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's now a child. Yep. He Benjamin buttoned. Yep. F. Oh, I died. That wasn't good. Wilderness says, what do you use to season a nice orangutan crustini? Mm. Is that like a sandwich? Is like a is that that's is what a crusty, is that? I don't know, it's an Italian thing. Is that a, is that an Italian thing? I should know that. I thought a crostini was like a like just like a little like a bruschetta. I, if you're if you're cooking a whole orangutan, I would use a lot of paprika to bring out some of the earthy tones in that man's body. <laughs> <laughs> use a little like I put a nice dusting of Old Bay, probably a little bit of brown sugar, it caramelize that that monkey skin. Um, also, you are probably. Uh, the police are probably after you if you're currently cooking and eating orangutans. Yep. Don't do that. Yep. That's bad for business. Uh, Zach Moore says, do you have a health bar? Yes, it's the uh, the bars on the left, but it recharges uh, like in Halo or every video game ever. Got it. Is that actual the Zach Morris from Say Bell Bell? Yep. Yer Donan says, what's your favorite character? Feels like John McClane would fit like a glove. Yeah, I'd like some some fictional characters in this. That'd be awesome. Man, a John McClane character would be really cool. Yeah, or at really least cool. like legit, just I don't know, parodies or just steal them. I have a question for you. Does yeah. this game have like a, a character editor or anything like that? Because now that I've seen, yeah, because it's simple enough to where you think like you would be able to create something. Yeah, I feel like if you know, you just get a couple of details. If you could design their their colors or their clothes, yeah. their shirt, their face. Like you, and stuff this like guy that. looks close-ish to Nathan Drake. Like it'd be cool when this game Who's, comes out. I asked another question. Who's that cat up there? Uh, where? I saw a cat. Oh, that's a uh, that's a, a bomb you can have. You if you get that cat, you can put a bomb to him, and he walks up to, to men and blows them up. That's awful. That's awful. I mean, it's not good, but when you that, you're you're not a hero. That's worse than eating a whole orangutan. Which no, that's totally not worse than I eating think... a whole orangutan. <laughs> there are a lot more cats in the world than there are whole orangutans. Fun facts about orangutans: a lot of people think that there's a g at the end of that word. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually not. It Orang actually orangutans. It ends in an n. A lot of people don't know that. Because it just you're on when you say that word, it's such a ride for your mouth, <laughs> and you really want to throw that G at the end because it just feels <laughs> nice to close on a hard G instead of a soft end like that. Because it's like an orangutan, you know, like he's got that kind of name. Yeah. Swinging the trees, fighting <laughs> off predators, <laughs> punch a tiger in the mouth. It's a day in the life of an orangutan. <laughs> Hashtag Emerald Lugosi. You can see Emerald Lugosi eat a whole orangutan live on his show and on Emerald Lugosi. Is Emerald Lugosi on Twitter? Can we get uh, Emerald Lugosi to watch this? Yeah, I'll see if I can get him up, up on the stream. I don't even think it's Legosi. It's like Legas. <laughs> well, it's Legasi because Legos. You're thinking of Bella Legosi, who's like Dracula. You know, a fun fact about Emerald Legasi <laughs> is that he uh, he put on that white cook's robe about 25 years ago, and he hasn't been able to remove it ever since. <laughs> it's fused to his body. Yeah, it's, it actually became part of his skin. I just, I'm on Emerald Legasi's Twitter. He has 691,000 followers. That's a lot more than you. That's a lot more than me. He also has a giant belly. <laughs> 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 Unsurprisingly, most of his tweets are about food and family, yeah. which is, you know, very, good, very nice yeah. thing to do. 
I bet he called his mom. For on May 9th, he was celebrating the last day of Soft Shell Crab Week. <laughs> that entire week? That is an entire seven day stretch of time dedicated to eating one thing <laughs> specifically. I mean, crab's crab's great, but I don't want I don't want Maybe crab for seven I days. I could straight. do crab week. Yeah. But if it's just like crab but soft shell crab yeah. week. Yeah, that's really the, narrow. Yeah. Hey guys, we're on day forty five of uh <laughs> pepperoni pizza and olive slice. <laughs> half season. Half yeah. season. Yeah. This is a uh, half pressed panini month. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag IGN plays live. That's the hashtag. You can use that to communicate to us. Yeah. You got to go on Twitter to do that. If you're afraid of social media, don't be. It's a wonderful world out there. You just have to curate your list and make sure you don't follow bad people. Follow people like Agent Bizzle. That's me, Brian Altano. Yeah. Follow people like Marty Sleva. That's Mick Biggity. Who who are bad people? Who are bad people to follow? I don't know. Probably like uh, James, James Faulkner. Faulkner, who works with us. You don't want to follow him? Yep. That's if you follow him, go to at Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> He's been squatting on that domain name. Actually, uh, so Emerald owns that's it's just at Emerald. Oh wow, that's baller. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Gotta he beat he floor. beat all the other famous Emeralds <laughs> to that. Like Emerald Stevens and <laughs> Emerald, Emerald Lewis Carroll. Oh, Emerald Jack. Sanjay Samuel Rao says, can you stop playing as Steve and play as someone else? Let's see the other characters. Hashtag IGN plays live. Okay. I'm and his face in his profile is extremely disappointed. So <laughs> I, it goes it goes with the tone of his tweet. Oh, uh, my president's going to kill this man. This man's going to die. Oh, they're saying naughty words. Oh, he's going to What are you doing to this I'm guy? not doing anything. I'm no longer in control of oh. this game. Oh! Oh, what? This is like hey, 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 <laughs> after the after Assassin's Creed and this, we just got uh, Crikey Day. I know we we definitely got a there, there's a lot of a lot of reasons to go to back to London. Yeah, in video games. <laughs> You're the London. This is actually Emerald Lagasse's restaurant. Yeah, Aunt Ruby's. Aunt, Aunt Ruby's named after Ruby. Aunt Ruby Lagasse, <laughs> inventor of the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the creator of sauce. Zach Moore says, "What wine pairs best with an orangutan?" I would say. <laughs> I would go for a nice zimph. <laughs> Pick up some of those bitter notes and a nice zimph. You take you take your wife out to wine country, or you bring a nice arm of orangutan with you on a picnic. <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a whole good time. Clowning, I'm playing clowning around. I'm playing as Jesus now. He's a lot like Jesus from the hit film The Big Lebowski's. Body, what's an what's an animal you would never eat? Uh, a, a man. I've okay. Eaten, I've eaten. I've eaten dog. You ate dog? Yeah, in Asia. What? Yeah. Where was this? In Korea, South Korea. When did you go to Korea? Uh, when I was a kid. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm, what? I'm, what was I'm the? Worldly. What game were they showing? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I can assume every trip I've gone on. Uh, no, I went on. Uh, I went on vacation a lot as a kid. What, what else? Have I've had kangaroo. I had kangaroo. I actually had kangaroo on an IGN video today. Wow. Yeah. Wait, in, like in, in what form? In jerky form. Jerky form. Yeah. I didn't just eat it like a steak. No, that'd be weird. That'd be a weird thing to do with jerky. Um, That's right. People were eating oh. whole kangaroos at the Kangaroo Jack premiere party. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a hit 90s film about a kangaroo named Jack. So this this level has samurais who one hit kill you. So it's, this is difficult. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Um, everything today. Man, I am dying often. This is, why, this is why you stay as Steve. Probably some bugs. Some bugs that I've had that are strange, like a millipede. Where did you have bugs? Like a uh, honey roasted crickets and and stuff like that. What was that for? Just for fun, because I to say to say I did it. <laughs> but yeah, I've had I've had a uh, I've had alligator. You know what I don't like? Yeah, alligator. Is I don't like unfamiliar parts of familiar animals. That's what I don't like. Sure. Like a tongue. Yeah. I'm not wild about eating a cow's yeah. tongue. Yeah. Or like my like I have Italian uncles that would eat pig's knuckles. I thought it was disgusting. Yep. Not a fan of that. You know, like the, the, there's nothing wrong with the rest of that pig. What about what, what about an, an Angus? An Angus? Yeah. A pig Angus? Yeah. Paganus? <laughs> Hashtag IGN plays live. Tell us what the weirdest animal you've ever eaten is. Can you top us? And don't lie. No one's ever really eaten an orangutan. Except for other orangutans. I'd be, I'd be willing to bet someone's eaten an orangutan. You think so? Yeah, right? I don't know. I just can't. I feel like so gross eating a monkey, man. Yeah. You know why? Because you can teach them sign language. Yeah, like uh, Coco? Yeah. There's Coco the Chimp. She was all right. She was pretty good. I think yeah. she's not around anymore. Oh, I don't know exactly. how long those things were. Coco, Coco was like super good friends with Robin Williams. Yeah, they were really cool. They used to go to the movies together and stuff like that. 
He was <laughs> Coco would pick him up at around eight o'clock every night in an oh. SUV. <laughs> it was before Uber. Yeah, it was way yeah. before Uber. What if uh, so, you could get Uber where it was animals, like an Uber horse? So like a horse came to your house. Uber actually did this thing once where they were delivering kittens and they brought some to our office. You remember, remember that? that? Yeah. That's like I want. I don't know. I want like a, a horse-drawn carriage to come. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag IGN plays live. Join us into the fun. We are having. We're just having a good time over here. Yair Donut says, "Can you Samantha next? We can make that happen. We can make Samantha, Mr. Yair. I love this man, by the way. He's a good man. He supports yeah. a lot of our shows." For you, Yair, we'll use any Samantha. That's right. That guy had a gigantic forehead. Did you yeah. see that? <laughs> he deserved to die. <laughs> Just for his forehead? He probably made, got made fun of in school a lot. Oh. People called him five head and six head. Oh, that's actually pretty big. You never heard that one before? No. I kind of liked it. No, F. All these guys are one hit killing me. What is F? What, is, what are you trying to say for F? F is uh, short for the, the to see you next. No. <laughs> what's the, what's, what's the abri what is... So we don't curse here on, uh, on IGN Plays Live, even, even though we play Very incredibly violent video yeah. games that curse for us. But we do like to make up our own curses here, such as Farnacle. <laughs> oh, Farnacle. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be able to curse later this week when we're playing Witcher, even though Witcher allows you to make uh, sweet love to a mermaid. Yeah, you can actually get down and dirty with a goat in that game. <laughs> <laughs> they wrote that, they wrote, that, <laughs> wrote that on the box. <laughs> Oh man, see, this is why I don't play as Samantha because I'm not I'm not good with anyone else. Yeah, I hear I'm dying for you. Curtis Dillon says, "Have you or Marty ever eaten snails?" Yeah, I've eaten snails. Yeah, that's car go. My yeah. car go. No, no big deal on that one. Yeah. It's actually, it's kind of a lot of production for something that's yes. not really yes. like 100. It's a whole lot of work. You got them in these big shells and everything like yeah. that, and you just you just they're, they're in a nice gravy, a nice sauce, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, we know you love your sauces. You like a nice sauce. So see, um. I, I had alligator uh, in Germ or, uh, in Tokyo. Yeah, I went to the. There was a Dark Souls restaurant around the time Dark Souls Two was coming out. Really? Was it impossible to eat there? It was. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you your fork went close to your mouth, they just knocked it out of your hand. <laughs> um, but one of the things they had was it, they called it a, dr a dragon's claw, and uh -huh. it was like chicken uh, hands. It was no, it was like a, a crocodile jerky that looked like a claw. And it was just in this, the darkest black sauce. So just oh. like it was cool. and I'm like, I'm gonna eat this, but did just you eat it? None of, yeah. And like it was, it was weird. It came out weird. <laughs> Everything was weird about it. James, did you eat those balls with us in Japan? <laughs> what were the name of those balls? Balls? Yeah, oh. we ate these things that tasted like fish testicles. <laughs> Konyaku. Konyaku. If you know if you know what those are, please let us know. I don't even know how to spell that. We had them at a bar in Japan. God, that was that was a fun. That trip. sounds horrible. Yeah, I mean every, everything sounds great except for the the, the fish testes. Yeah. So uh, Sandy Irvine 15 says, "What's overall thought about this game, and also worst food you have ever eaten?" Oh, even non meat. Uh, yeah. I'm digging this game so far. Yeah. Uh, I'm on the review. Uh, I haven't beaten it yet, but it's fun. Uh, in it has that like. Sort of score attack. Yeah, uh, you want to keep playing. You want to keep being better. It's got uh, that kind of like one more level vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, right? totally. What the heck is konyaku? Wow. So konyaku is a rubbery and somewhat flavorless food that appears in certain Japanese dishes. It has consistency that's kind of like a cross between a rubber sole and Jello that gives your teeth a funny sensation when you bite into it. Keep in mind that we didn't know any of this stuff. I was eating it the other day in a bowl of odin, a type of Japanese stew, and it occurred to me that I had no idea what it was. A fish? Is it some kind of vegetable? Turns out konyaku is a jelly made from a type of potato. The potato in question is known in English as konjac. Its scientific name is amorphous konjac. It definitely doesn't sound like something you want to eat. So yeah, it's a taro-like potato substance that grows and gets formed into a ball. Nope, not a fan uh, of that. Not as a fan other, of any of that. other names are devil's tongue, voodoo lily, elephant foot, snake palm, and the emerald lagasi. So <laughs> thanks, James. So that's what that is. Now keep in mind, we had no context for any of that, and the guy said konyaku, and I'm like, oh, is it cognac? Yeah. Like I know what cognac is. Yeah. It's a type of alcohol, and I'm like, maybe they made like a, a, a snack, a cognac yeah. snack. That's not the way that it was at no, all. No, it turns it out they just they tricked a bunch of, uh, of American kids and it was their first yep. time in, in Tokyo. Um, oh, yeah, God, that was a... That was a <laughs> what, was, what was that? Now, we went, to, we went to this rooftop bar where this guy on the street was like, come upstairs, drinks, drinks. We came upstairs and there was like basically no one in there except for us and people who were in there were trying to leave and fighting with everyone who worked there because they said they owed too much money. 
Hotel and we California. were like, well, this is bad. And they're like, we'll make you food. And we're like, we don't want food. We just want alcohol. And he's like, beer, beer. And they started bringing out pitches of beer. And then they started bringing out food. And we're like, we don't want your food. We don't want to eat anything here. We just want to drink. Yeah. And after like 20 minutes, we're like, we need to get out of here. <laughs> if you stay in there for 30 minutes, uh, you're uh, yep. doomed to stay there forever. Yep. I actually did a whole podcast about my trip to Japan. So go to look that up. Um, let's see. Andrew N- Nicholas says, I live in Brazil in the Amazon. I've eaten a lot of weird animals. Turtle, alligator, Ooh. opossum, iguana, Ooh. turu. What is a turu? I don't know. It doesn't sound real. I got to look that up, man. It's a, ty- it's a type of man. I looked up tutu by accident. <laughs> he, had, uh, he had a whole tutu. I think it's a squid. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Oh, man. I don't know. what do you see what this thing is? It looks like a hat. Oh, man. Oh. I was just looking at the hats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks like a, um, looks like a giant wa- a water wiener. When I search for Turu, a video comes up called the top 10 animals that went extinct. No, that's uh, not one of them. It's a weird not. thing to rank. But <laughs> Andrews, you might be part of the problem. You might have helped make an animal go extinct just by eating it. It was weird looking though, so I don't. I'm not, I'm not too sad. Yeah. Curtis Dillon says you should try badger. Tis a rich taste. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Curtis. I like your use of tis. Yeah. Made you sound like a, a, a younger urban professional. Mm-hmm. Scott Hilkey says I've had goose soup. <laughs> <laughs> I had goose once. Have you ever yeah, had goose? I had goose. Yeah. It's, it's all right. It seems very Dickensian. It's another one of those like whole lot of fanfare, not a yeah. lot of you know. Yeah. Like it's basically it's very expensive and it's gigantic and by the time you cook it down it's like it's really not there's not a lot of meat. No. So Anthony Ray Drum says, What animal have you always wanted to have as a pet? Ooh. Flying squirrel. That would be gnarly. Right? Yeah. And he could just follow you from room to room. Yeah. Or she. I'm not gender biased about rare cool animals that I would love <laughs> to have as a pet. I just want anything. That's right. I just want to have a pet where I don't die. You're allergic to almost every animal. I'm allergic right? to everything. I'm allergic to a dog. But you're okay with eating them. Okay. Yeah, I can eat. Is I, it is it the hair you're afraid of? The, yeah, I think it's, I'm not afraid. It's not fear. See what I do Allergy, with hands? It's fear. <laughs> it's your body's fear. <laughs> it's, it's, I get so scared that my lungs close up. Um, no, it's their their dander. So yeah, kind of their yeah. yeah. And then everyone's always like, no, but my dog is hypoallergenic. It's like, no, yep. I'm still gonna die. Is that what happens? Even when they say that? Yeah, they're liars. Wow. It's like I hate I hate guacamole, and everyone's like, you've never had my guacamole. I'm like, nope, I'm gonna hate that too. Yeah, guacamole is a. It's, it's just especially out here. It's almost it's just insufferable because of yes, California. That's a, that's exactly it. It's one of those things that they made. It's kind of like it's like Dane Cook, where you're like he's not bad, but everyone's like this is the best thing in the world, yep. and you're like all right, now we're pushing this thing to the stratosphere. Yep. It's not fair. Guacamole, the Dane yeah. Cook of comments. That's. <laughs> Emerald Lagasse, the guacamole of Dane Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag IGN plays live. Go on Twitter. Talk to us. Andrew says Turu is like a worm that lives inside old trunks. It is pure protein <laughs> old and is not taste. Trunks, <laughs> trunks like a tree trunk. It's pure protein and it isn't taste. And there is farms of it in the jungle. Wait, so is it an animal or is it it's just? I don't think that's a farm. That's just a jungle. That's just. T- You're what? just describing a lot of trees in one place. <laughs> it's a tree farm. Like, that's like if I went to a mall and I was like, look at this farm of stores. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried. There's a lot, a lot of bad dudes down here. Do you remember bad dudes for NES? Yeah. About saving there. the president? I wish there was a bad dudes game. Bad dudes reboot? A lot of people remember that game. It was a good game. It started with, are you a bad enough dude to save the president? Yeah. Turns out, you were. How about we elect... A bad enough dude that doesn't Just to have be, to be saved. <laughs> oh, I was right at the end and I died. You did it. You blew it. I, ah, Hashtag IGN plays live. Marty's terrible at this game. Hashtag ninja came from nowhere. That's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, is there a tab with the schedule for the rest of the week? Nope. I think I can I can name the schedule. I know this. What's on the desktop? It's an image. It's in a, it's in a, go, a, a Google image. All right, IGN plays live is, God, it's happening a lot this week. So we have Wednesday, five thirteen. That's tomorrow. That's one p.m. Pacific time, four p.m. Eastern time. We're playing The Witcher Three: Wild Hunt. Yeah, We're with, hunting with devel- with developers. With developers, with the they're, nice- they're going to come here and apologize for making such a wonderful game <laughs> that we gave. What do we give today? Nine point three. Nine point three on IGN. High score Vince ever gave. That's right. 
Uh, tomorrow we have Beyond Live. I don't know what that is. Oh, yes, I do. That's a hit <laughs> show starring myself, yeah. Marty Sleva, and Max Scoville. Yeah. And we're going to talk about PlayStation games. We're going to take your questions. We're going to talk about E3 predictions. Yeah, E3 predictions, favorite E3 memories. Yep. That's going to be All from, from a, a PlayStation perspective, a nice PlayStation slant. We'll probably talk about some other stuff, too, because yeah. that's just that's how the video game industry rolls. Yeah, um, that's going to be an hour. That's right. Friday, That's uh, this Friday, we have Rock Band 4. Yeah, that's, gameplay debut. Yep. 12 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Okay. BST. I think that's the best. The best, best time. You live in the, the best time zone. Congrats. Congrats. Yep, that's right. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's it. we just got a whole lot of stuff going on here, man. This, doing, is, this yeah. is gonna be good. Who wants to? Who wants to live in the past so you can be alive? Do I have to read the rest of these, James? Okay. Excellent. Next week, there's some things. There's gonna be House of Wolves and an actual wolf. Yep. As we said before. I ate my vegetables. Now it's time for dessert. <laughs> oh f. <laughs> Whose background is just all the crabs? Oh, is that still Emerald? Emerald still got his crab background going on? Yer Donan says, Are you still, uh, he said, Ask me, are you still doing the vegetarian before six thing? You're looking snazzy. Now I'm just dressing nice. I'm still eating like trash, but you know, I eat a little less of it. That's the trick. You got to walk around. You got to really get out there. That's, a, that's good advice. You know, you walk around a lot, right? Walk around, yeah, walk to It stops you from being a to a <laughs> <laughs> well, it works off the, the exactly. thousands of calories in beer I drink. Emerald, if you're watching this, you got to take a few steps in between all that cream corn and the cheese week or whatever you're celebrating. <laughs> Looking like a very big man. I love you, though. You make good food. You look like my father. <laughs> Hashtag IGN plays live. Austin Hegarty says, how the F do you not like guacamole? It's all, I, it's, so my problem is that we, don't, we like it. We just don't. We're just it, They put it on everything here. Here's the problem. You know, I came out here and I, I got a I got a, a chicken parm, which is a chicken parmesan sandwich, and they asked me if I wanted to put guacamole uh, yeah, on it or like, avocado. No, I'm like, this is why would I possibly want that? Yeah. Stop it. It's also yeah, they put it on things like I love BLTs, but I'm like, don't put it on there, you're just ruining it. I love just yeah. the salsa, you put guacamole. I'm like, don't get that out of here, dude. Curtis Dillon says, Not a hero is a mashup of several games. What games would you like to mash together like potato and a squirrel? Lost me at the end there. <laughs> You don't, I had you for like 120 characters. <laughs> I was right on board. Uh, I don't know. I've always wanted. I kind of want another like side-scrolling Zelda. Oh god. Oh man, you know? like Mario two or like yeah, Zelda, like Zelda 2? two. That'd be really cool. That'd be interesting. Yep. Um, I want to. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've wanted like a truly open-world Mario game, kind of like Grand Theft Auto Mario, where it's just like the entire the actual Mushroom, Mushroom Kingdom. Kingdom. Man, yep. that'd be amazing. Yeah, I want I want Mario to go back to being massive and open. Uh, as much as I love Galaxy, like I felt like everything was sort of bite sized. Yep, yep. Uh, Zephyrus ninety four, that's Wilderness, says Yuka or Lele. Ooh, so Yuka's think... Yuka's the, the the iguana. Yeah, Lele's a bat. Yeah, I'm going with the with the bat. I like I'm going bat. with the iguana because okay. uh, the bat seems like it would uh, mistreat you. Why I've never you... met a good bat. Really? Have you? What happened when you met the bad ones? I don't know. Probably bit me. Don't, I don't know. Would you trust a bat? What What would you be more freaked out if there was a bat in your house or an iguana? A bat. Yeah. Yeah, iguanas. Well, actually, you know what? A bat. I feel like I I could be I could track a bat because I always know where it is. You yeah. Look up and you see a bat in the ceiling and you're like that. Well, there that it is. Is. But an iguana. Could yeah, run in, like it's one of those things. You know when like there's you see a bug in your house. And oh it yeah, and then scurries. The yeah, you're like, like I. Well, <laughs> I'm now dead. I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> yep. Andrew Nicholas says, "What the hell is guacamole?" If that's true, you really you live an interesting life, my friend. Wow, where are you that you've never even had guacamole? That's interesting. Uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like guacamole. It's <laughs> it's free okay. on PlayStation Plus. Twitter is telling me to follow Ellen DeGeneres, Jimmy Fallon, and Barack Obama. <laughs> that's that's a weird. Well, that's what that's Island what wants Mitch to follow. Yeah, Mitch seems like the kind of guy who would follow those. Yeah. Three. Uh, on 24 hours ago, Emerald Lagasse ate a shrimp po' boy at Starfish <laughs> Company. Hashtag Emeralds Florida. It looks very delicious. It's inside him now. <laughs> <laughs> I always love when you're reading a menu and it says something like, warm goat cheese. Yeah. And you could get be like, that's not warm. That's lukewarm. <laughs> that's <Just> send <laughs> it back. I noticed your goat cheese was hot. I don't want hot goat cheese. I burnt my mouth on your goat cheese. <laughs> Scalded the roof. Of my Scalding mouth. hot goat cheese. Was this goat cheese cool? It was. It felt cool to the touch. What 
we got? We got another half hour? Yeah. We're doing Picture good. questions. IGN plays live. Yep. Hashtag IGN plays live. Brian's me looking at uh, pictures of eggs. That's right. Of eggs bennies. Curtis Dillon says Mario slash with GTA sounds awesome. I'd like to see Nathan Drake exploring Rapture. Ooh. That'd be that. interesting. Yeah. There's not a lot of very tall places to climb in the Rapture. But no. But he, he, he likes treasure. There's probably treasure in that place. He would he would beat a man to death with a golf club. When I say the word Bioshock to you, what what like what kind of mood do you get in? Sad, somber, horror. Yeah. Like, every, like what's what's your overall feel on the franchise? I love it. Uh, yeah. I love one and infinite. Uh, yeah. Two was a weird misstep, but yeah. it's somewhere like even though Ken Levine's not going to be doing it, I'm curious to see where that series goes in the future. Yep, me too. Um, if another studio kind of takes the reins, uh, I think there's a lot of potential there. Yeah, there's always a place in my heart for Bioshock. Yeah. Hashtag IGM plays live. Luke Mitchell says, what is your favorite Nintendo game? Ooh, ever? Jeez. Uh, probably a Super Nintendo game. Uh, either Link to the Past, Super Metroid, or Mario World. It's a good list. Yeah. Mine's uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. <sighs> so good. Yeah, one of my favorites. That's the other thing. Like, very few times is there a wrong answer to that question. Yeah. Wow, look at that. I beat it. I beat it. That was awesome. James, I did it. Very nice work. James is proud. You did all the uh, secret bonus missions. No, I didn't do any of them. You didn't? None of them. <laughs> I did none of them. Wow. Those little rex, red X's <laughs> threw me off. You're a terrible player. I'm not a, I'm not a good mayor of, of England. Scott Hilke says, try a toasted bread and tuna and cream cheese. Yum. Uh, that is the opposite of, of a daring food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is just... That's it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. I'm not a big tuna guy. You know what? I like tuna when you have it in a Japanese restaurant. I don't like it when it comes from a can. Oh, you like it like the actual, like, the fish. Yeah, yeah but the yeah the tuna, yeah, the, the can thing, it's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that it doesn't need to be refrigerated. Why Why do they call that chicken in the sea? I don't know, dude. That's Isn't it weird? That's is it because it's just, like, it's ubiquitous? It's everywhere? Well, they don't call... Chicken tuna, Chick tuna, tuna of, of the of the land, the land or the air. <laughs> the Do chickens air. fly? Not really. They can kind of flop. flop. I mean, I mean, a, a new friend named Mike. Mike is a weird dude. His eyes are not. Yeah, the he's same place. no, he's not not. He's not all right. <laughs> what is something's wrong with Mike? He's definitely got some problems. He's got a head. weird eye. That's why he's all the way over there. He just wrote his name on the wall. Mike's that dude in a bar that fights the jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, immediately died. I died, very, <laughs> I died very quickly. Mike is also highly suicidal. <laughs> oh, none of this will. Okay, I died twice. I know what's going on now. Ah. <laughs> James, this isn't going well. This guy sounds like a, he, he sounds like a British Busta Rhymes. What? Oh, wow. Here, I got an idea. So fall on the one on the right and then gra move towards the right again and fall on the one beneath it. Oh, okay. Like, I keep was letting... Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? Video games. <laughs> oh! I died. I died. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to blame Mike. Come on, you... <laughs> I'm going... <laughs> he's angry. He's going to yell at us. You cut him, he's like, come on, you... <laughs> you cut him off. So is this like a 2D version of, of the film Snatch? A little bit. I mean, there's a lot of cockney humor. Uh, a Br a Bradley Pitt. Yeah, he's an actor. He's not in this game. Bordley is his name, Bo actually. Bordley Plight. That, that was Bradley Pitt's first name when he was born. It was Bordley? Bo Bordley yeah. Pitt. That'd be really sad if you named your kid Bordley. Yeah. Brad Pitt was actually 600 pounds when he was born. Yeah. To his father, Emerald Lagasse. Yeah. And then his dad used to chase him around the house, and that's how he lost all that weight. <laughs> <laughs> I like your celebrity tall tales. No. This game's, this game's difficult. Injury is not a word. It's a false word. Wicked Pixelated says, loving the original content from Brian and Max. What's the statues on Up at Noon? Ooh. Do you want to know the status of the statues? <laughs> the statues is none. I would love to have statues based on us, though. That'd be great. I got a... I, man, I should have... I got to bring it on one of these streams once. But I actually got... <laughs> the Master Chief? I got a 3D printed Master Chief that does not look like me at no, all. No, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, can you say anything on the status of Up and Noon? Uh, it's it's coming. Yeah. We're working on it. A couple of big things have come up in between, such as E3. And there was the whole celebration of Star Wars. Yep. And then there's Comic-Con, and there's, mm -hmm. there's always something. Uh, Andrew Nicholas says, the guacamole that has avocado in it, question mark? Is that salt or sweet? 
Avocado is better mixed with milk and sugar. Wow, this guy has like a breakfast. <laughs> that seems weird. That seems weird. I mean, it's, I think it's supposed to be wow. it's supposed to be salty. Curtis Dillon says, "What would your dream E3 announcement be?" Man, I mean, I don't know. There's like the whole, I don't know. Of course, everyone would love to see Last Guardian. Yeah. Um, I would love them to say, "Hey, just kidding! Zelda is actually coming out this yep. year." Yep. Um. I want Banjo Kazooie three. Yeah, but of those, like, I think a lot of people's dream announcement is Fallout four, and I think that's the most likely, given that Bethesda has a conference. They've been yeah. teasing Fallout in uh, Wolfenstein. Are you gonna get really into that? I wasn't able to get into the other ones. Yeah, it was just sort of a bad time. Um, yeah, I was the same way. Like, I played them and I loved what they were. Yeah, I, they just didn't totally grab me for hundreds of hours. Sure. The way they did and hearing everyone start, like hearing Max talk about it, and hearing Mitch talk about yeah. it, yeah, like they, they sound incredible. They sound like the kind of stories I want to have. And yeah. Game. Um, mine would be I would love I would love another story in the Last of Us world that wasn't a sequel. That could that be has, awesome. Has nothing to do with Joel and Ellie. The same way The Walking Dead can kind of like drop the pin on the map anywhere yep, and yep, be yep. like. Here's here's other people dealing with yeah, zombies. Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to see other people in that world dealing with things. Yeah, uh, possibly that's... even like ten years down the line when things Completely are worse. Agree. Yeah, you know, because I think like The Last of Us had that kind of like ruined, destroyed world look to yeah. it. I want to see what that looks like accelerated even more. Sure, sure. You know? Where things have gotten even darker. Uh, either that or anything new in. The Metroid world that isn't like an endless yeah. runner, you know. Like oh, I feel it. like that 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 that's a franchise that's been dormant for way too long. Yeah. The last one we got was Other M, which was just like uh, sort of a trash game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zach Moore, that's at Sandwich Wiz Kid, says, do the different characters have different abilities, or are they just variations? In speed nope, they definitely have different abilities. Um, certain characters are faster. Certain characters reload faster. Certain characters uh, can shoot while moving. Yeah. Uh, they all start off with different uh, core weapons. That's right. Hashtag IGN plays live. Yep. Go on Twitter. Tweet your questions at us. Tweet questions about this game. Tell us. Tell us things that you going on in your head. Why are you watching the stream instead of going to work? Tell us what's going on with your job. Where's your boss at these days? <laughs> is he allowing this? Because if so, he's a cool <laughs> should boss. Should we be worried? You should buy him a nice gift. Wait. Bosses so, uh, love gifts. We, we do they? Is it Bosses Day? No. Does Rick Ross get a gift? Don't give a teacher an apple either. That's just a weird, gross Yeah, kid. don't be one of those kids. With your weird hands that touch yeah. it. Yeah. Kids have weird hands. Kids have disgusting hands. Yeah. Have you ever been in a GameStop and picked up a controller? Oh, uh, that's, yeah. Have you ever been to IGN and picked up a controller? Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, kids here have gross hands. Uh, we should talk about, uh, I think we're able to say it now, uh, something that's happening on June 27th. Oh, that's right. June 27th, we're doing Podcast Beyond 400. Yeah, combined with Unlocked 200. That's it's right. A, it's a, oh, F. I think I died. Oh, yeah, I think so. But yeah. those guys didn't look like they were going to live no. either. <laughs> so I could sleep <laughs> easy knowing that. That's right. It is uh, two of our biggest podcasts here are joining forces for one day of live, really fun uh, shows that you can come and watch. Yeah, it's be a pair of shows. It's going to be a ton of IGN people obviously will be there. Yep. Um, Ryan McCaffrey, Mitch Dyer, Max, uh, all of us will be there. Yep, and uh, if you can't up. make it out, we we will archive the stream. You'll get to see the whole thing. But yeah, but it's going to be in uh, San Francisco. We're locking down the final details on the venue. Uh, it's we're probably going to be somewhere cool though. Yep. Um, and yeah, we're going to have more details on uh, how you get uh, tickets and, and all that. So yep. if you're a lot of people have been tweeting at us, emailing us, because uh, a lot of people came out for Beyond 300 from from far off lands like yeah. Australia and Fresno. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's going to be good. We're going to have a big a big crowd there. Big party. You get to hang out with all of us, too. Yeah. There'll be, uh, I'll be there. Marty will be there. Max Scoville will be there. Ryan McCaffrey. Mitch Dyer. Um, pretty much everyone from IGN will try to make yeah. an appearance in some capacity. Yeah. Some old friends, too. So, special guests. Yeah, special yeah. guests. Stick around. You're going to really like this. By old friends, we just mean like elderlies? Yeah. I, uh, there's about 300 senior citizens coming. <laughs> So that's why we're doing the. They're gonna do it at nine o'clock in the morning after <laughs> then, buffet breakfast. Yeah, we get early bird special. And then everyone's gonna get a free crossword puzzle, and I'll get you back in time for uh, Vanna White to spin the letters. <laughs> Lil Jerry Seinfeld says, "Don't you guys think it's time for Tony Danza to make his long way to return to TV?" Hashtag IGN plays live. I agree with you. I don't know what he's been doing, but I need him. I need him to talk to Angela. You need him in your again. life. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I need to. We the never Angela. actually. We never. <laughs> A lot of people don't know who Tony Danza is. No, we never actually learned who the boss was either. Well, and then whatever happened to Melissa Milano's? I don't know. 
Yeah. That's the that's real question. That's a beautiful woman. The real victim. That's one of my first crushes. Yeah. Hashtag IGN Plays Live. Tell us the first person you fell in love with. Yeah. Was it famous? Was it Becky Kravinsky from down the street? That's a name <laughs> I made up. If you, made, if you fell in love with her, that's weird because that's not a real person. Unless it is. Hashtag IGN Plays Live. Tell us who you loved first. <laughs> Tell us how Becky Kravinsky broke your heart. <laughs> At Zephyrus94 says, what video game world would you most want to live in? I've got Mass Effect. My answer is none. <laughs> I would not want to live in I like San video Francisco game in 2015. World. Yeah. Find me here. I, there's, you know why you can't? There's, there's no food. That's my big problem. There's no food in any video game that you could eat with any regularity. And so many toilets don't work. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Video games are just about things going badly. I don't want things to go badly. Andrews Nicholas says, I am my own boss, and I'm working on my game, The Incomplete Quest, as I'm listening to you guys. Shout out to independent game developers out there, yeah. such as Andrews, who is making a game that has an awesome title, because even if he doesn't finish it, he doesn't have to. It's called <laughs> The Incomplete Quest. <laughs> if you're like, oh, it doesn't feel complete, that was the point. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Meta. <laughs> That's right. These samurais. I know. They're Ninja, or nin no, ninjas, ninjas. Ninjas. What's going on in this factory, by the way? I don't Do you know, see? Is this laundry? Oh, no, yeah. I don't on? know. Like, but it looks like they're... I don't know. It seems like all the blind people from Daredevil are hanging out. Yeah. All the blind people from Daredevil. There was a whole factory of blind people. Oh, that's people. right. That one scene. <laughs> where he walked amongst the tombs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's really one blind guy in that show. <laughs> Did you like Daredevil? It was, it was fine. Yeah. You know, was, yeah. I'm 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 not mad that I saw it, but I wasn't like edge of my seat watching every episode. Sure. Either. Well, when he, how was he gonna fight that large man in an alleyway? He did. He did he it. He fought him. Yep. How's he gonna run on that roof better than someone like me, who can see? <laughs> oh, he'll just do it. Because what he does is he sends a sensor field of thoughts out, and he can hear the stairs. Because you know a lot of roofs make noise; they talk. So that's how the Daredevil man can find his way. Ah, <laughs> uh, Emmanuel Gonzalez says, My first love was that chick from Ghostbusters. I forgot her name, but she Morning, was really hot back in the day. Yeah, her name was Slimer. <laughs> Slimer was a beautiful woman until she died in that in that library. <laughs> reading, that a, suck. reading a self-help book. Austin Haggerty says, Better chef, Hannibal or Emeril Lagasse? Actually, yeah. if it wasn't for the, the people part? cannibalism, I think that... Uh, Hannibal, no joke, is much better at presentations, such as his presentation is his, phenomenal. His plating yep. is flawless. Every time I see that show, I'm like very hungry, and I'm like, I yep. know these are these are men. Yep, these are hu these are humans. Yeah. Sometimes it's women. Sometimes it's women, but it's like I would just I I would probably yep. eat these. I, I liked one episode where he was just like, I ordered Asian, and then he, there's it shows a shot of him chasing down this Asian guy and stabbing. <laughs> like, you're, you're a sick man. He was a bad, he was a bad dude. That's a great show. That show is so good. Right? It's coming back soon. I saw it is. Very uh, soon. Eric Goldman was tweeting about having yep. the review copies. I'm uh, I'm going to rewatch the entire second oh, season man. of my flight so to good. Paris this weekend. That ending is just ridiculous. They're going to Paris. I keep forgetting that. That's right. I'm going to Paris. If you if you have any idea of what to do there, hashtag IGN plays live. I'm going to just be hanging out, trying to stay away from the touristy stuff. I did it. That that plane looked awesome, by the way. Yeah. Right. Instead of fighting, I just ran away because I am a, yeah. I'm a, a giant baby. So I'm, I want to I'm going to say something real quick. I absolutely love pixel art games, mm -hmm. and I feel like it's really cool that we've they've sort of gotten a comeback in the last few years. Yeah. And when we saw that reveal for that Castlevania game yesterday, mm -hmm. or that fake Castlevania, yeah. Um, I was kind of bummed out that it wasn't pixel art. Yeah, it has you know? that sort of like it's kind of anime, style. hand drawn. Yeah. Um, yeah, because uh, man, yeah, Castlevania is so iconic and associated with pixel art i mean even 8-bit to the the work done on uh, the sprite-based art on on uh yep. castlevania 4 and symphony of the night yeah that seeing it sort of as smooth and hand-drawn like didn't feel right yeah i don't know i'm hoping that uh maybe it's, i don't know you can toggle it on and off if i could just uh, give me a toggle button just that'd be awesome. worse can we get a like let's get a stretch goal tier for that you know the nice. ukulele had one yeah it's like a 64-bit right. stretch goal that's right uh, Wicked Pixelated says, "Is it too late to send an email to podcast on locks or beyond today?" No, 
You can no. send you can send one too. When do you guys do unlock? Not till tomorrow. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, unlocked at IGN.com and or beyond, beyond at IGN.com. IGN. Com. Com. Send send an email. We'll send us different send each of those shows different emails because Marty's a, he, he's on both. He doesn't want to hear the same email. I get confused. Yeah. You do, right? I'm very easily confused by that. It's also difficult for people to put you in a little box and say what kind of fan you are, right? That's doesn't true. That bum, doesn't that bum A couple of people out? have been angry that I'm on both because they said I should have to choose. No, and you I should. said no. No, you should. No. Grow up. <laughs> um, no, really. It's, it's, they're just plastic boxes that play video <laughs> yeah. games. Don't, it's, it's not about you know a war. Be no. friends with everybody. Everything, everybody. Everybody wins. Except for the Wii U, that's it's tough over there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love my Wii U. I really do. I play I play lots of Nintendo I know. games. I just wish there were more third party games. Yeah. There. Such as this game. Why is this game not there? Who yeah. knows? Because it's got blood in it. Nintendo's afraid of blood. Because <laughs> Shigeru Miyamoto cut his toe once, and ever since then he said no blood. It's not a true story. No, that is hashtag it. Emerald. Get a good recipe for a nice sauce. <laughs> <laughs> You're still on his Twitter profile. That's right. Emerald Ghost, he actually wrote, he, he does a lot of viral content now. He wrote the top 10 Emerald breakfast in bed recipes. That's kind of pompous to put your own name in there. <laughs> you invent these recipes, Mr. Emerald? Okay. Number 10, herbed cheesy eggs on English muffin. When you don't want to make a full sandwich, you just want to dump some stuff on top of the bottom of an English muffin, <laughs> call yourself a professional chef, there's that. Number 9, mascarpone and marmalade stuffed French toast. Why would you do that? Yeah, that seems... I don't know. That's excessive. Yeah. That's why... What is that? Is that a mimosa? Number nine and uh, seven or whatever, a weirdly skewed crop picture of a cantaloupe frappe. <laughs> Number eight is all just a whole bunch of strawberries on a plate. That's not really cooking, Emerald Gossip. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you. Hashtag IGN Plays Live. Tell us what you like to eat for breakfast. Tell us how excited you are for Not a Hero. Do you make Do you make breakfast uh, on the weekends? Do you like, do oh, you I love to. Yeah. yeah. I always wake up before my wife and make a nice breakfast. There you go. You know why? Because I know if I don't, she'll wake up and be like, let's just have a smoothie. And, and I'm like, like no. this is my <laughs> chance for pancakes. <laughs> this like, is like one chance. Ladies and gentlemen, learn how to cook. That is one of the most important things to do. Because then you can wake up, you can make yourself a nice meal, and then you don't have to eat smoothies. And it's also a nice thing to do for significant <coughs> others. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. Very nice thing to do. You don't have to buy all those gifts, flowers, and jewels. No. Exotic Jewels. Trinkets. Jewels. Jewels. <laughs> But the, the jewels on the Niles, no rubies. Scott Hilkey says, I would love to see a Bushido blade on the PS4. How about you guys? Yeah, yeah I'm down with that. Behind that. That's, that's that cool. was one of our essential 50s. Jared, Jared Petty put it yep. there. At Lazama Miguel says, I fell in love with Litzy, the one that didn't pick her nose in third grade. She didn't? So there was only one girl that didn't pick her nose. That didn't pick her nose. That's the one, I mean, that's the one to fall in love with, right? Yeah. Music in this game is really good. Yeah, I totally feel it. Oh, a lot of these samurais are making me. Yeah, they make me nervous. That's right. How you doing, Mari? Doing well. I've been on a lot today? of these things today. Can we talk about what you have for lunch? Uh, I, I didn't know. I saw what you have for lunch. What cereal? No. Pretzels? Lucky Charms. <laughs> no, no, no. That was an Avengers cereal. I know really? That's not better. Yeah. You had an, an Avengers, Avengers cereal? 2, it's an Avengers 2 cereal, but it looks like Lucky Charms. I think it's just it's a reskin. Lucky Charms reskin. You know how you make that sentence even sadder? No, that's pretty sad, dude. No, it was really sad, but you know how you make that sad sadder? What? If it was an Avengers 1 cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag IGM Plays Live. Tell us what your favorite cereal is. I, I'm, I'm partial to Count Chocula, but I can't really eat that stuff anymore. No, I wish I could. Because you're an adult? It's just hard, you know. Like my body has count chocolate. And it's just like, why? Yeah. Why'd you do why, that? Why, why would you do this to me? It's like filling a gas tank with sugar, <laughs> and then trying to power the car all day. Um, the the thing about cereals is when you get older, you start eating the more boring ones. Yeah, like that Kashi. Oh, I hate it. With I don't the, know who the Kashi Corporation is. It's but those. They've, or, they've you ever been seen doing bad things? You ever seen Good Friends? Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> is like the two people cereal. hanging out. <laughs> It's just it's like a ninety year old woman and her neighbor and they're just like, Oh, we're having some cereal together. <laughs> <laughs> Senpai seven says <sighs> chocolate with waffles and sweet orange juice. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Yeah. What chocolate with waffles. <laughs> Does he mean waffles with chocolate? <laughs> I, like, I like that. Yeah, I'm having a whole plate just, of chocolate. Chocolate is just a vessel for I'm a waffle. sprinkle some waffles <laughs> on these chocolates. And that's sweet orange juice. Emmanuel Gonzalez says What's something weird you eat, like bananas and mayo sandwiches like my mom likes for some reason? Whoa, that is that is weird. That's very weird. Yeah. Bananas and mayo. 
Man. What was it? Uh, Elvis had bananas and peanut butter? Yeah. That's that, not weird. That man passed away. Yeah, he did, because he also had drugs. <laughs> he had a lot of drugs. <laughs> he also had bananas and alcoholism. <laughs> Lord Almighty, Leo, 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 here. <laughs> hashtag IGN plays live. That's the hashtag we're using. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on IGN. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. We're on FreeCreditReport.com. And we're Legacy.edu. That's, that's an educational site. Learn Emerald Legacy facts on that site. Such as Emerald Legacy is actually not real. Yeah. He's a figment of the Guy Fieri's imagination. <laughs> He's a Guy Fieri fever That's right. dream. He's actually a character that Guy Fieri made up mm-hmm. while eating out of a garbage can <laughs> out of a restaurant. <laughs> a garbage can made out of a restaurant. <laughs> Curtis Dillon says, Lucky Charms, but they aren't really legal here in Ireland. I wish that was true. I so wish that was true. <laughs> the Lucky Charms were illegal in Ireland. <laughs> and people were smuggling them in. <laughs> Right, we're doing good things My, here today. We're doing how many, good things. We how many people do you think you've killed in this game today? Oh, just a lot. There's actually a stat screen I can check at the end. Oh, really? Just a lot of murder. It's it it wears it wears on you. Yeah. And we gotta go. We've been doing a lot of camera stuff today. Yeah. It's on uh, the Assassin's Creed thing. We're doing game scoop after this. Yep. We're gonna talk about uh, the, the the hot scoop. Mm-hmm. Um. So uh, Emmanuel Gonzalez says, "How do the upgrades in Not a Hero work? Are they special bullets or are they a buff? And how long does that last?" They are special bullets, and it lasts one clip. So if you reload, it is gone. So it's wow. your twelve shots. Uh, and then the there are side weapons like the mines that wow. are uh, consumable. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Austin Hegarty says, "Mad Max Fury Road is what sober people think Burning Man is." Yes, I'm sober. Also, that movie looks awesome. Shout out to sober people. You are, you have just way, way more control, than, control than than we do. Yep. It's a hard world out there. We but like you to unwind with a drink. But you get a drink. But, but you do good. You but do you get Mad things. Max. Yeah, Mad Max is awesome. Oh f, James. I blame this all on you. You're not even. What are you? You slacking? You skyping? You banging? He's banging. Shout out to James Faulkner. He is the producer behind the stream. James, give me give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on, on how your love life is going these days. <laughs> we got a very hard thumbs down. So if you're watching this and you're and you're you're interested in a man that that is a twig, a beautiful twig though, as a very skinny man that runs uh, video game live streams for the world's biggest video game site. And also, is handsome, dapper, and genuinely yeah. one of the nicest people I know. And he, he ate weird Japanese things, so he's cultured. Look him up. He's a good man. He he wants to love you. What? He yelled at Jennifer Lopez once. Is that true? Yeah, he was rude to Jennifer Lopez on a film set because she was being loud, and it was his job to keep people quiet on the film set. Wow. What did you What did you say to Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> he said, "WTF, Jennifer Lopez, be quiet." Wow. That's yeah. a great story. You know what she probably did? I think she went after that and she told every woman on earth to never talk to you again. <laughs> and that's why you're getting the thumbs down. You got hexed. Really? Wow. Wow. Was it was her boyfriend Ben Affleck? Jason Derulo? That was a weird list. Is that a real person? Casper? Casper Van Ghost? for the friendly ghost. At Braden M12 says, will IGN ever come to Toronto's Fan Expo Canada one year? I would love to meet you guys and I bet others would as well. Um, I've been to Toronto. I was in Toronto for the Children's Wish Foundation right. last year. But aside from that, I've never been there. Yeah, I would love to. Have you ever been to Toronto? Yeah, Toronto was great. I went to Ubisoft Toronto. That's right. Um, but I don't know if we've ever actually covered Fan Expo Canada. What's, yeah. what's that all about? Sure, I'm ima- uh, I imagine it's pack ish Yeah, it sounds it sounds Pax-ish. Um Yeah, it's tough. I mean, one if you, uh, I know it's obviously. I'm assuming you're from Canada, so you want something on your home turf. But uh, I recommend going to shows like Pax and Pax East and New York Comic Con, especially. Yep. Uh, those yep. are shows that uh, we do a lot of cool things. Uh, we always do fan meetups. So we always do drink ups at bars and cool yep. panels. And, and yeah, to come find us. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, this looks cool. It looks like uh, it looks kind of like a, a mini Comic Con type of situation. Oh, nice. It's Comic Con North, basically. It's they've been going for 21 years. Jeez. They've had everybody from Wes Craven to Billy D. Williams to William D. Williams, Willie D. Williams <laughs> to George A. Romero. So yeah, go check that out if you're in Toronto. I, I always tell people this, but like, look up what events are going on yeah. in your hood, your area, and go find them. Especially there's always people like, how do I meet pe other people who play games? Especially if you're in a yeah. small town. Like, yep. That's that's how you do it, dude. Yep. Um, Wilderness says, what's James Faulkner's favorite Faulkner book? Sound and the Fury. The short story, A Rose Family. A Rose for Emily. A, a rose, ro a whole family <laughs> of roses. Okay. <laughs> Um, so James likes uh, A Rose for Emily, which is a book about necrophilia, which is why he <laughs> is single. <laughs> Ladies, I retract my earlier statements. Do not pursue this man. <laughs> he's dangerous. He's, he's, a, he's a bad man. <laughs> Actually, he must be stopped. <laughs> I need all of your help taking him down. Hashtag IGM plays live. We're having a good time here today. This is good. We have 12 minutes left in the stream. We're going strong. Yeah. We're going to finish even stronger. Finish the strongest. Let's We're going to see back. how many people we can murder in this you gotta, game. You got to come back tomorrow at 1 p.m. PT to see The Witcher for two hours. Yep. Was and that a cat? The, that's a, no, that was like a, 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 a source, a sorceress. Oh. It was the Source Awards. Um, a lot of shootings happen at the Source Awards. One, <laughs> 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. is uh, Witcher. 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Brian and I are going to be doing a live episode of Podcast Beyond. Are you on The Witcher thing? Uh, I'm not on The Witcher okay, thing. Okay, good. Uh, I'm not allowed to speak to the to the to the Polish developers. Really? No, I think it's fine. Because you're Polish? Probably. Really? No, I don't know. I just well, I don't know. Mitch, or Vince will probably be on their backs, or I don't know. Somebody plays again. Um, yeah, we're doing Beyond for an hour. Yeah. Tweet us uh, throughout the show uh, with your E3 predictions. We're going to be giving you ours, our favorite E3 memories. Did any news happen this week? Not really. Assassin's Creed. We'll probably talk yeah. about that. Yeah. New Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. You have brass knuckles. You put you. Punch, punch men in the heads. Do you remember uh, EA? EA sent out a game. I think it was for The Godfather, way back in the day. Yeah, uh, and yeah. they actually sent out the brass, brass knuckles, knuckles to and then they asked them back because they that got is in a lot of trouble. Very for illegal. Because you don't do that. That's a bad. That's a bad idea to do that. Yeah, J uh, John Riccatello. <laughs> yeah, come on, get it together. Hashtag IGN plays live. We're playing Not a Hero. We're having a lot of a lot of fun here, murdering things. Yeah, I keep dying. This isn't going well. Oh, uh, you, you know, like. The characters are tiny, but they have a ton of, of personality. And they have a lot of blood. Yeah, I, I really like all the little details that happen. Like it's, I, I'm very fascinated in the way they built this world just out of pixels. Yeah. But uh, it's incredibly detailed because we yeah. we grew up playing games that were kind of like this, but yep. never really got to that level of. A hundred percent. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's is able to like develop a sense of time and place really yeah. quickly like yeah. that last level you were very it was very much like oh this is like attack the block i totally get what kind of a vibe they're going for that's right hashtag ign plays live we're going strong we're closing off we have 10 minutes left in the mm -hmm. stream if you have questions for us let us know so if you have sauce ideas if you have sauce ideas how do you make your sauce is sauce real it's real oh man i just keep <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting noise. Roll seven. You were you were nasty. Awful gurgling noise. Oh, wow, skills, man. Yeah, you kept that guy going for a long time. It was uh, it was a uh, uh, the the okey doke. Yeah, Rick, the Ricky Dick, Sla uh, Slappy Sam. Yep. I don't know any of those words you're talking about. Hashtag IGN plays live. Nine minutes to go. Don't read that James Faulkner book. Yeah, don't read that. About making making love to people who can't. James Faulkner, are you on? Are you on? Uh, are you on dating sites? You are, and they're not working out for you. You, you don't like them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you? Are you? Are you going on dates? So you are. Not recently. You gave up. That's what happens. You have you have you know peaks and valleys of self-esteem, and it's basically really about just how going out there and seeing just how much how much mental damage you can really just take in, <laughs> and then taking that and not not doing anything bad to yourself, and then channeling it through creative means, mm -hmm. 
and going back out there and getting beaten up again. Yeah. You know, and then you come back in and you you, you know work on those wounds. Man, that was put some cold press on the. That on was the, just incredibly incredibly dark. Yeah, it's real though. It's really that's what's dating. That's what dating is like. That's why I got married. I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> it's awful. You out served there. your time. I did my time in the streets. It's tough. Did ten years in Rikers Island. <laughs> <laughs> Got a purple heart and you ain't even left the city. That was a 50 cent yep. quote. Yep. Cur Curtis Jackson. Whatever happened to Curtis Jackson? Another Damn. one of my favorite Curtis Jackson quotes is, we go and party like it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's very deep. He's one of the modern scholars of our time. Yeah. It's, it's him, uh, Jay Electronica. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Probably those top two yeah. guys. And then Faulkner. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis Jackson's actually writing a book about necrophilia. <laughs> <laughs> it was a short story. Okay. Because you, 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 the problem was I I, I you wanted to read a book about a guy that makes love to dead women, but you didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> I What's a nice, short, brisk read I can get through on the train about a guy that sleeps with dead corpses? <laughs> To be fair, and Faulkner was like, "I have just the thing." I think well, I'm that's not sure why. Oh, I, I don't know why I talk like this. <laughs> Hashtag IGN plays live. Seven minutes left to go. If you're a James Faulkner fan, I'm sorry. Yeah. Or wait, William Faulkner. If you're a yeah, James Faulkner fan, it's a pretty good. Thing we'll be uh, we'll be doing a let's read of that book tomorrow on IGN. I'm kidding. We're not doing I think that. We're gonna the day after. We'll be doing a let's apply for jobs. <laughs> what? Did I invent something that you loved? Oh, that was oh. a good one, I guess. I think it's, that's actually way better. Role reversal. Yep. Ooh, that's. I man. have some questions for you after this stream. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do we have? We have five minutes. My goal is to beat this level in five minutes. Yeah, you're really bad at this level. This, ha this hasn't been going well. That's because uh -huh. there's samurai amorize. I'm also I've been distracting you. It's my fault. No, that's fine. Don't don't take blame. I love coffee. Right. Isn't it just the best? Yeah. Is this the, but is it trash office coffee? Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what's awesome about coffee? Coffee is one of the only things that you can put in your body, where it will, at one point, be like, "That's enough." <laughs> <laughs> that'll that'll do, pig. Almost anything. Like pe if you put pizza in front of me, I will eat it until I'm dead. Yeah. But coffee, like eventually, my body's like, "Yeah, I don't feel good. You gotta stop. You really gotta stop." Like I'm, I'm feeling weird right now. Like I've had bags. Of, have you ever opened up a bag of chips and looked at the side and it's been like serving size? Yeah. Sixteen servings, and then you like you look away and you come back and you're like, "I ate the whole bag without even blinking." Yep. I don't know why this happened, but yep. I'm sorry, body. And now I have type four diabetes. <laughs> there are four, four whole types? No, I doubt it. I feel like there there would be though. I ah. Just, <laughs> Off a guy. Is that ice cream? Oh, God, that's really good. That sounds like a favorite. Yeah. You know who loves that? Emerald Laguzzi's. Yep. Go to emeraldlaguzzi.com and get your Emerald Laguzzi beer koozies. <laughs> <laughs> On Mother's Day, he said, make your mom this bacon cheddar cornbread this Mother's Day. She'll love it. Hashtag entertain W Emerald. I don't think he understands that, how that works. Wow, oh, there's just so many crabs. Yeah, he really just eats a lot of food, this man. <laughs> <laughs> I like Emeril Lugosi because his face looks like an emoji. Every time you say that, I think you're saying his face looks like an emoji. Emoji Lugosi. I think you're saying Emeril Lugosi. Don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't summon that. Existence. That's awful. Hashtag IGN plays live. Four minutes left. This is your time to ask Marty and I the burning questions that you've always wanted. You want to find out more about James Faulkner's love life? You let us know right now. This is your chance. Wicked Pixelated says, "What movies or shows would you want adapted as games, or vice versa?" Uh, I would want I want a like a, a Telltale version of The Wire. That would be, I could yep. I can handle that. Yeah, everybody. I mean, that's the that. whole thing. Is like the answer is like Telltale's anything. Yeah, Telltale's exactly. Archer. Telltale. It's something I don't have to actually play. You know. <laughs> Something I can just read and watch for the most part. Yeah. Um, yeah, all that. Man, The Wire, Archer, uh, Twin Peaks, Deadwood, yeah. uh, Murder, Murder, She Wrote. I was thinking a lot about GoldenEye the yeah. other day. And I was thinking that if I ever met Pierce Brosnan, 
I would probably be like, dude, I shot you in the face so many times. So many times. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I've covered you in proximity mines. Yeah. And... Mike Drucker. Oh, remember, he got him to play. He got Pierce Brosnan to play Goldeneye That's right. Talon. That's right. That was a, that, he's that's, a talented man that with is power. A, man, that is, that is a career high right there. That is just weird. That is one of the best things you could possibly yeah. do. It's amazing. I took uh, I took shots with Alexei Pichitnov, who is the creator of Tetris. Really? And when we were done, we took all the shot glasses and put them in a stack and smack, smacked them down and yelled Tetris. <laughs> Tell that you is tr- did I it. swear, I swear on everything. <laughs> that is a true story. Does he even understand the rules of Tetris? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I think after tw- twelve whiskeys, you don't care about the rules of Tetris, <laughs> which is weird. You would think he'd be a vodka guy, right? Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, would you like vodka?" And he goes, "Oh." Whiskey. <laughs> Amazing guy. Hashtag IGN plays live. Three minutes left in the stream. Will I be able to what do are that? you going to do without us? It's going to go quiet in your head. You're going to have to go on Twitch and get some kid to scream in your ear while his mom makes him lunch and he begs for money. <laughs> We're not going to do that to you here. We're the good guys. This is it. This is the final. This is the final. The last hurrah. That's right. I this think is I it. can do it. It's the end of the stream. IGN plays live is every Tuesday. I died. I died. Thursday. No! Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yes. yes. Got it. Come out I tomorrow would... at 1? Come out for the... Oh, That's yeah. right. Tomorrow at 1, we will be playing a little indie game. A lot of, not a lot of people have heard of it. It's called The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. It's, a, it's no, wild. It's called Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. We're playing that tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. BST. <laughs> Nobody knows what that is. <laughs> Wednesday, we got Beyond Live. Hey, that's us. Yeah, directly that's after The Witcher. Directly after The Witcher. So that'll be uh, 3 p.m., 6 p.m. on Easter time. So what you want to do is you want to start watching The Witcher and just ride that out mm-hmm. all night long, right into Beyond. We'll be there right for you. Yeah. We'll answer your questions live. Uh, we will talk about E3 predictions. Yeah. It's going to be a good memories. show. It'll be great. And then Friday, we've got Rock Band 4. That's at 12 p.m. Pacific time and 3 p.m. Eastern time. If that's you want to see a bunch of grown men play plastic <laughs> instruments for money, that's the stream to watch. That's, a, that's at least one of the streams you want to watch this week. <laughs> if there's more streams to do, then that's weird. That's yeah. yeah. We, that's we be first, that that's gonna be a gameplay reveal. First gameplay. That's right. I'm Brian Altano. This is Marty Sleva, Agent Bizzle on Twitter, Mick Biggity. Mm-hmm. Follow IGN on Twitter and tune in to IGN Plays Live every Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> and Friday. <laughs> you were so yes! sure of that. <laughs> Crushed it. What's up, everybody? Marty and Mitch here. Hey. Mitch, I created the phrase, what's up, everybody? Yeah, it's yours. Yeah, that was good. Uh, welcome to another edition of IGN Plays Live. Uh, I am Marty Sleva. This is Mitch Dyer. Hello. Mitch, we're playing a game I'm very excited about. Me too. Called Not a Hero. Yeah. Uh, I've been this singing this game's praises for like a year. You have. You are a Nobody true hero. to me. Uh, this is uh, by developers uh, Roll7. Yep. And they uh, they are known for Ali Ali. Yep. Which is a game about uh, skateboard. Skateboards. Skateboard mans. Uh, this is their new game. It's coming out this week. Uh, yep. It is like a politically charged thriller. A I would politically say. charged thriller. It's uh, if Ali Ali made of shoot and tutorial. Mm, I don't get it. Natalie Portmanteau. The Bunny Lords briefing room. Okay. Um, one thing. This game it's super weird. It's definitely uh super dumb. And super, super weird. weird. Super Doesn't dumb. care. It's really funny. It's super funny. Uh, and it's also very violent and vulgar. So Mitch and I aren't allowed to cuss. Profanity boom. Yeah. This is just a super profanity game. Yeah, super profanity. 64. 64. Um, Mitch, uh, if people have questions about yes. about video games or about life, uh, what, yeah. what should they do? Uh, please send Marty and I questions, relationship advice, mm-hmm. love letters, yep. all those things. Love letters. You. Using the ha- like full-blown love letters. Okay. Sonnets. Full-blown 140 character love letters, much less because you have to tweet at uh, a handle as well as the hashtag. Tweet at IGN using the hashtag IGN plays live, or just tweet at me at MitchD or at Marty at McBiggity two G's two T's. Almost yeah. goofed it. Almost goofed it. Hashtag IGN plays live. We're gonna oh, yeah, see your tweets come up live on this space computer right here. Listening to what Steve has to say. No frills, just kill it. Yep. 
Hit that button, yeah? Uh, everyone's door to door canvassing and murdering. Super uh, British man. Everyone's sort of super British Scottish cockney in honor of Assassin's Creed Syndicate's reveal. <laughs> yeah, it's it's London week here on IG. It is London week here. Uh, so I'm playing. So right now you're controlling. Uh, there's no jump. Oh, okay. I just, oh, I you shot some birds. I shot some birds. Uh, so one of the big things is you do the slide and you sort of slide all the way to the nearest point of cover, or just a little bit. Um. And that's kind of it. Like you, you walk, you slide. You slide. You, you take cover. So you see here, every time I'm hitting A, I'm taking a new piece of cover. And, and you just you slide right into it. You don't have to like press yeah. that button. And when your character is uh, shaded, so, so there you see I I murdered the man. So uh, you can kill people normally. You can uh, you can tackle them and then yep. sort of uh, assassinate them. Yep. Uh, but uh, each of the characters you unlock, see this is gonna be now you're cover. Now you're not. Now, now that man is dead. that man is dead. Incoming friend. Got him. You're getting shot. You're fine. Okay. You got some HP back by yeah. murdering a man. Ooh. What's what, it? I, don't, I was trying to figure out what was in that uh, that vent. Uh, it's dust and smoke dust and, and, and Elysian tail. Listen, substances. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of knocking people down and murdering them. Clearly, uh, this is a mattress up against that wall. Yeah, I mean, that's where I keep mine. That's that's not a. I mean. Are you in a, the hit uh, sitcom Perfect Strangers? That's how they kept their mattress. Is that true? What do you call those mattresses? Murphy beds. Murphy beds are the I'm, ones that go into the wall. I don't know either. Uh, have you not? Have you never heard of a Murphy bed? Definitely have not. God, you were just blowing out all them brains. Yeah, this music is really good. James, James, James the computer said yeah. this music's really dope. Yeah, uh, the music in this is really good. I got a soundtrack for this. It's got a bunch of Global really awesome artists on it. I, I had my computer as opposed to this random junker. We can a talk random about, junker. We can talk about it, the exact artists, but uh, it's got a really good soundtrack. It's it's like a classical, like it fits with the style, right? Like this weird 8-bit, very retro style thing. Uh, Bunny Lord said that uh, on a scale from mind-blowing to vile, it'd be good. That'd be good. Oh, that'd be good. But I like we're at, we're at Aunt Ruby's. Yeah. I wonder if that's nice Aunt Ruby. It's with probably those, her. With those Aunt Ruby herself. Rad, uh, rad shades. Ooh, so Infinity Shred. That's somebody who's on Infinity this Shred. They're really good. Ooh, I like that. Uh, so yeah, this is Mayor Mayor Bunny Lord, and we're gonna help him with his approval rating. We're gonna get rid of some crime. Uh, so you you only have Steve right now. There I only are, have Steve. There every are time about 35,000 characters. Every time you game. beat a level, you get a higher approval rating. And when you, oh, jeez. Wrong way. I, not, I was not firing the correct way. You are getting just wrecked right now. No, I'm doing, I'm doing good. Right, I, I believe you. Anyway. I'm doing God's work. Uh, yeah, but every time you... Uh, I feel good about that. Uh, the more, the better you do in levels, the higher your approval rating goes. Got you it. start unlocking different characters who have different skills. Certain characters like have shotguns. Certain characters uh, they got Uzis they got and Ruzis and melee weapons. That's is that how you pronounce that no. word? What that guy got, that guy's face exploded in blood? Oh. How's he like? Oh, you were getting no. I'm fine. All right. I know you're worried. You need to do more slide tackles. You got to get your approval rating up by doing but those I, objectives. But in the I got a power left. shot now. No, slide tackle into power shot. Here you go. Go. Slime coward. Nailed it. Did you call me a coward? Yeah. That's rude. But don't be a coward. <laughs> Just call it like I see it, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. Oh. Okay. Uh, Jared has a totally off-topic question. Hey, Jared. It's Marty here. Hey, Jared. It's your best friend, Mitch, here. Uh, joined by Marty. Jared wants to know, what do you want to see in E3? Oh, that's a, that's a huge question. Uh, man, I want to see all sorts of things. Uh... I want to see uh, uh, Kanye. <laughs> I want to see uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Uh, <laughs> games wise, Brad Pitt uh, would be nice. Bro, BP, hang out with him. BP for would be great. BP, I feel like we'd be, we'd be buddies. Bit, bit um, so let's see. We're gonna get there. We're, everything's gonna be kicking off uh, Sunday with Bethesda. Bethesda. Uh, I want to see a Fallout. I want to see a Dishonored. I want to see Fallout Cross Dishonored. No, I want to see Fallout Four. You want to see Dishonored too? Yep. Um, then we get to Monday. What do you want to see most out of a Microsoft conference? Gears of War 4. Ooh, Gears of War whatever. Gears, Gears of War. Of Gears of War, not the remaster. <laughs> Gears of War, different than that. Gears of War, not the remake of the original, but Ooh, a new one. I like that. Um, you? I would like to know... Battletoads. F. <laughs> I would like to know what... Uh, <laughs> I would like to know what Rare is working on. Battletoads. For the love of Yahweh, don't let it be, <laughs> let it be Battletoads. <laughs> Uh, I'd also like to see what, like last year, I think my favorite thing uh, coming out of E3, one of my favorite things was Ori. Yeah, I want to see if there's yeah, another yeah. Ori. Oh, we got a new character. 
Boom, we got Cletus. He's got a shotgun. Pick a man with a railgun. I'm basically a murder machine. 20% hero, 80% drunk. <laughs> it's your life. It's you. Dressed like a hillbilly, but actually from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed like a hillbilly, right. actually from Scotland. <laughs> Pretends to be Scottish blows. That'd be so backwards. good. Uh, Sony conference. Sony conference. Uh, Sorny. Uh, Last Guardian. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Or whatever that game is now. Yeah. I think it's going to be revealed as a game not called The Last Guardian. I think you're totally right. I think it'll, it'll called, be a completely different game from Team Eco. Uh, it'll be called Horatio and the, the Bird Dog. 